This this is you, isn't it? I'm, I'm going to get down there, and it's going to be you. It's a strong possibility. Welcome, everyone. Uh, this is a bit of a different video for me. It's uh, unscripted. Uh, we're going to be ranking all of the personas of Roger from American Dad. Well, at least most of them. I did not make this tier list. I found this online. I'll link it in the description. But I won't be doing this alone. Uh, I have with me two amazing guests with extraordinary channels, and they're going to tell you where they can, where you can find them, and they're going to tell you a little bit about themselves. Hi everyone, I'm Sarcastic Chorus. Dan, thank you for having me on the show. Huge fan of American Dad. Always down to talk about Roger. If you guys know who I am, if that's cool. But if you don't, please go follow me on Sarcastic Chorus. I'm on YouTube. I'm sure you can just look it up online. I never remember my Twitter handle. But I'm just happy to be here, folks. And I'm Artis. I run a channel called Artis TV. I talk about cartoons and whatnot. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, RTS TV, Tiny Toy Tiger. That's just my shtick. Uh, so then let's get started with Abby Road. How are you even going to get backstage? With a little help from me. The name's Abby, Abby Road. And when it snows, I need to be plowed. So in my opinion, I think Abby played a pretty important role in that episode. And Roger was very funny. Um, I think one of the go-to things with Abby was always the fact that she's like, oh, don't worry, Stan, stick with me and we'll get you in there. And then they get there and it's like, hi, it's just me. I'm all alone. And then she oh. gets in and then he's like, what happened? What happened? Abby Road in that episode was definitely, I, I don't want to say the word supportive because Stan had an issue and she should have not have enabling that, but she was there until the very end to support Stan, and you know, Roger being supportive is where he's at his best, I feel like. I feel like the best of Roger is either supportive or just off the wall, in my opinion. And when it's middle ground, it's like, mm, you know, we, we don't really get that. And we see him being supportive, but then we see a complete 180, and it's just, I think it's a great moment. So I think B for Abby. Abby's a C for me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Mm. Abby's like legit one of those personas where like, oh no, I love the outfit, but outside of like a like one line, I'm like, yeah, okay, you can you can just shuffle off now. You can switch outfits. I'm good now. Like, love Roger. Love that he's in a supportive role, which even if it's just for a little while, it's always good to see him like that. But I would never put her like B is like average for me. I feel like C is like more like where she's at. I was leaning more towards a B, but two against three, I guess C it is. <laughs> okay, C it is. Off to a middle ground start. You're going to be this old bag all vacation? You show some respect for your elders. I lived through the Depression and four seasons of Caroline in the City. Yo! <laughs> don't, don't look up Lemon Party. Don't Google it. I like Abigail. Uh, Ab unlike Abby, Abigail had her own side plot in that episode. Love that episode, by the way. I like the fact that out of every character he could have chosen to go on for this tropical vacation, he chooses this, like, old woman character who has a dead husband and apparently some troubled past with the children of theirs, so who knows what happened that in that marriage. I actually really like Abigail Lemon Party, just because she's that character, like, there's a lot of, like, bad or mess B-plots in American Dad. But I feel like with Abigail's character, it's just a legit, like, what are they doing here? Because, like, it slowly just escalates to, like, okay, she's trying to get, she's here on party. She's trying to get sold, dude. 
Ash to try to get the old dude back and just just ends up with her destroying him. For me, I also got to say she's a B because I still love that final joke that she has. Where after like the entire episode, she's like, oh, I miss my husband. Uh, we had such good times together. I know what you did to our kids, you monster! <laughs> why, why can't I leave things nice? I love that <laughs> twist. Like, I don't want to put her as an A just because that one moment I feel like, okay, no, that is top tier Roger. She gets an entire B plot to herself where she's just okay. But I do feel like that outstanding concluding joke pushes her to B for me. Yeah, I'm feeling B tier too because like I thought I thought Little Miss Lemon Party's side story was I, I, I'm just a sucker for a revenge plot. <laughs> I thought it was nice. All right, I'm down with a B. I think I think the ending kind of solidifies a B for me as well. So definitely a B. I'm Ace Chapman, star forward. But wait, does it have to be consensual sex? Yes. Okay, well then, you definitely don't want Ace. I think we're up to our first one that doesn't really have as much of a lasting impression because he was on screen for like, I want to say 10 seconds total. Uh, I think for that, even though it was a quick yeah, joke. Yeah, I remember this one. That'd be like a C for me. That's such a good but, line. Yeah. Same, I'm calling it. Because I actually rem <laughs> I remember him and so I'm like, yeah. 100% he's a C for me. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure he's a rapist. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I there's no question about that now. The fact that we're putting him at C, that's given him a bit of benefit of the doubt there. But, uh, you know, I, I think he's funny. So, I think we're, we're all good with C? Yep. Perfect. Yeah, I'm good with C. Awesome. Gentlemen, to our genius. This is from... Uh, the episode Irregarding Steve. No, I not messed that up, by the way. The episode is actually called Irregarding Steve, despite the fact that irregarding is not a word. That's actually a plot point. Irregardless. Um, I say that all the time. Oh, absolutely. Same. I think that's one of the my go-to mess-up words, where it's like, it just seems like a regular thing to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... I, there's not much to go off of with Andy. He's very... He's there, but I also don't think he left a lot of a lasting impression. So I would put him at D. Same. I'm just like, Andy's one of those characters where I'm like, wait, I actually looked him up right now. I was like, wait, who is Andy again? But I feel like that's just a character where like, we remember Roger, but we don't remember the persona he's playing. And in this case, it's just not even Roger putting on a whole, a whole new persona. It's just him dressed as Andy Warhol. So it's it's lazy. It's D. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like Andy Warhol, but I don't like Roger Andy Warhol, so I would put that at D oh, as no. well. Hello, y'all! I'm Stan Smith's brother, Appleby McFridays. Do I smell Kreplach? Appleby McFridays? I do, like, his whole bit is like, let me be really racist, and Stan is just not letting him do it. So I'm like, I kind of think of him as a C-tier, because the joke isn't about what Roger or Appleby is doing is necessarily funny. It's Stan's reaction to it. I feel like it's more of the le less memorable characters for him. It's... Aside from, like, that. his name, which just makes me hungry, he looks like a douche. He has, like, the stash, the hair, the, the Hawaiian open shirt. He just rages douchebag energy, and I, he's just giving me D-tier vibes, too. I just do not like his attitude. I feel like at least by virtue of the name, you should, we should at least give it a C. I gotta go with C as well, just for the name alone, but very low C. I think the name definitely... Because I think Applebee McFridays is a very... I think that's just... That's a gimme in terms of the name. Yeah, the name is pretty cool. <laughs> like, Applebee McFridays? Give him a C at least. Are we all good with C? Sure. Our Buckle T. Boone, Life Coach. Who'd you used to be with? LeVar Crush? LeVar Crush is shit. I went to Life Coach school with him. He's a hack. I think that I, uh, we, got a, I, I, we got a lot of Cs. I also think Our Buckle is a C. Um, he shows up, but he doesn't really have a lasting impression. I think the only thing I really like about Our Buckle, besides his name, I just like the name Our Buckle T. Boone. He does a thing with a can where he tries to crush it, crush it with his head. Actually, that might not even be him. That might be the other one he tried beforehand. 
if that's not him, then absolutely C. I don't think he wasn't very, he didn't really have a lasting impression. For me personally, I actually really enjoyed Arbuckle T. Boone. Uh, most of it is just the name. He's consistently throughout the episode and just always being like, no, you need to do this terrible thing. And I kind of want to give him a B, actually. Just because I do, just like, he's consistently throughout, he is always just being cringe, but, ugh, God, now that I think about it, I don't remember particularly any of the jokes outside of the can thing. I think I just like the name too much. I think that's just it. All right, I think I'm going to stick with my C then, if it's just the name. Honestly, I have to get... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like for me, it's a bit of a B because aside from like his name and the can joke, I did like the the somewhat plot twist of, oh, it's not Roger helping Haley for the sake of helping Haley. No, it's just Roger up to his old bullshit of like, you do this and you get happy. But like you do this, I will be even happier. So that way I can get the money and I can divorce him and yada yada for her for his different persona. And I'm like, oh, that's so classic Roger. But do we consider that two different kid personas, though? I, I I gotta agree with Artis on that. That uh, it is very funny that he's a life coach, and his advice to Haley is, "Go for it, have an affair with this guy who's married." He's married, but he's married to one of Roger's personas. I actually that might take points off of that. No, because he fully pushes it onto Haley. Like you have to have sex with him, him particularly, so that way my other persona can divorce him and I can get the money. It's just Roger. Being stingy Roger. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah! That's right. Okay, you know what? I just remembered that, and I think that might have just pushed it up to a B for me as well. Because that is absolutely a Roger move right there. Yeah, I can get behind a B. Though I, I'm kind of of the opinion that if we're going to give the twist to anyone for the points for the twist, you kind of have to give it to the wife character instead of Arbuckle. But if I just say... Oh, it's- we're going to get to the wife, definitely. She is a very good character. <laughs> I'll stick with a C, but I feel like with you two with Bs, I'm comfortable with that. She, he's kind of like in between for me. B! You best B, leave it. We found out Tetra Duel was tainting the water and we shut him down. Four more years! Four more years! Are not happening. What was this the B plot of? I don't even remember the episode it was the B plot of. I, I remember liking it a little bit, but um, I would say... Uh, well, what do you what do you guys think of Bert? I feel like he's fine, but he's really just the lead up to the fact that isn't Roger's own character the real CEO of the company that's ruining his chance for re- re-election? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is the CEO. He's very with the idea of getting Tetra Jewel shut down until I think he forgets actually until he remembers that he is the CEO, like at the very end, which also sounds like a Roger thing, but I don't know. I don't know if I would give that to Bert or the CEO of Tetra Duel. I, I do not even remember this persona at all, but like from the scenario goes, you guys are describing, it does sound like a Roger move that he'd forget that his own persona is working against him. But I mm-hmm. don't know. He's more, it's, I'm feeling like a D tier list for that, but I give it brownie points for uh, trying to help Nevada. I give him a D too, just because I only remember one joke outside the lead up to the CEO. And it was some pol- he was like, did some joke with a politician. And the fact that I remember that exists, but I can't remember the actual context of what he said, just puts him at a D for me. I can- I can agree with the D. Bert- I like the name Bert Jarvis, but that doesn't really save it from that anything else. So, I would say D tier for Bert Jarvis. Sorry, Bert. Oh no! I'm so nervous! This is my first soap opera audition. Oh my god, I didn't see you there! You make absolutely no impression at all! This is the persona where Roger- at, you know, tries out for a job in acting, gets it, but then quits, and then he kind of goes on a downward spiral, where he then becomes a waitress on a cruise ship, then gets kicked off, and is stuck in Mexico. Mm, I don't really remember this one, even though I know the exact episode this one is from. And I do remember how the ending goes of him about to sleep with a, a guy he didn't want to, and he was... This whole thing was like trying to cry on command and he finally was able to do it and the guy actually gave him money to like go off and pursue your dreams of being an actress and then just Roger just walks right back into that bar. But I don't know, for me, that character had like a whole, had a whole she had a whole journey, had a whole arc to it and we saw her ups and saw her downs. I don't know, I'm biased because I studied theater so I, I feel like I'm feeling an A tier for me. 
I think A tier as well. She was a big highlight of that episode, which was already a great episode. I, I think my favorite scene with her was the, uh, she gets to the position and then she's like, oh, I'm humbled, you humble me. And then she opens the door and then she yells, go on, bitches, show's over, I nailed it. <laughs> uh, it was, it's, it, it's the Roger thing. I would say definitely an A for me as well. Yeah, my memory's just failing me on this time. Um, failing me on this one. So, I'm still gonna stick with D, but I'm fully confident that with you guys giving this one in the A. Alright, then I will put it at an A. I don't know, Stan. You think I'll fit in? Hey everyone, I brought a new guy. His name is... Billy Jesusworth. Uh, the basketball episode starring, uh, Yao Ming and I think it was... Uh, it was Shaq, yeah. Starring Shaq and Yao Ming. Um, this is his persona after the accident. Uh, I like the name. I like the name. He always has great names. I, I, I you know, I can't repeat that too many times because it's amazing. Um, but I, I like Billy Jesus Worth. I, I, you know, he's definitely not a tier, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm arguing between B and C. I like the fact that he was able to get Shaq on his team for the competition. He's just Roger is a thing. I, I definitely feel like he's a B for me. He, is, he just has a lot of like, because there, he does have, he's the main part of that story. He has like multiple arcs. It was like, oh, I'm this hotshot basketball player. Then he breaks his ankles or whatever it was. So he can't play anymore. And he's like, okay, no, now Stan's going to lift me up. And now I'm going to stab him in the back. I'm like, oh shit. Now I got stabbed in the back. Oh, guess I have to go back to Stan. And like, he has this whole like, are going on but for me there isn't like a standout moment that isn't him breaking his bone his leg so he could stab <laughs> Yao Ming outside that one gruesome factor he doesn't have any like oh this is amazing yeah. moments for me so I feel like he's definitely a B just because of all the time that's spent like I definitely remember him but he's not a standout he's very pathetic um and not like Roger pathetic he's very pathetic in the beginning of the episode and i'm not a huge fan of those pathetic uh personas unless there's someone to go off of it and stan doesn't really go off of it he more so just deals with it and i would i think that's worthy of a c not a d because he does have a good portion of the episode the episode's all about him but uh i would say a c um i will say though the b plot of that episode I thought was infinitely better. Oh no, that B plot is fire. That is, I still listen to those songs because they're just, Steve is such a good singer. You know, for the longest time, I thought they had like a Michael Jackson impersonator do Steve's singing voice because he sounds so similar. I think it's actually funny that you mentioned that because uh, in this one, I think he was impersonating R. Kelly's um, style from what I was reading. Yeah, because it's a, Parody of Trapped in the Closet. Yeah, and uh, I mean it's great. It's a, it's a, it's such, it's one of the best B plots. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. so dumb. I love how it ends. It's just such a dumb B plot. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. But in terms of Billy Jesus Worth, I would say C. I yeah, uh, I give him a C too. He does not respect the game of basketball. I'm a rep and I'm gonna give him a B. Hmm. I might give I might I might I might change to a B. I mean, it is classic Roger, and you know, and he is there for a lot of it. I'm you know I'll change to a B. Rejected. Ah! <laughs> Bing Cooper, sexually active high school senior. I've pulled more tail than a slow kid at a petting zoo. Uh, Bing. I would put Bing, either B or C. I really have no um. I don't have really a opinion on him either way in terms of whether or not he should be B or C. Uh, what I'm do y'all think? I give him C. A. Really? really? I want, uh, let's hear this. Why well, A? Think about it. He's like one of Roger's most fleshed out personas. He somehow has a family and has parents. He has baby pictures to show for it. And even Steve's like, you grew up here? What the oh, fuck? Yeah. So I'm like, this character's really fleshed out and you get more of a vibe that he is like a teenager and just, even though it's still Roger, but a teenager who's grew up and has learned how to be cool. And it, I, even though it was for a bet, he was still helping Steve at the end of the day. 
and at the at some point it became more about his pride. I am absolutely. I think you convinced me. I totally forgot about that until you mentioned it. I love those Roger personas that just have a huge history behind them. It's one of my favorite things about it. I personally just want to give him a B. Like I do. Like now you're talking about. Like, oh yeah, I totally remember this guy. But the fact that he's so interchangeable with someone else farther down the line just kind of drops him down a little bit for me. So I feel like for him, he's just a B. I don't particularly think like. He is fleshed out, but he doesn't have any, like those great Roger moments I need outside of him having this petty bet. Or no, not petty bet. Where he's really just trying to piss off Stan by making Steve cool. Mm-hmm. And then he has a moment at the end Ooh, where that's he's... that's also a good point. And he has a funny moment at the end, though, where he's like... Where Stan's like, I don't want my son to, to have sex. And he's like... Roger's just basically like, who the fuck could get this kid to have sex? And just shows him like crying in the corner. I'm like, damn, that is harsh. That is cold. But that is Roger. Uh, that is Roger, yeah. yeah. That is a Roger thing. Uh, mm, that's a good point, too. Uh, but I don't know if I blame the persona or the episode. I might have to go with A on this because I can't really blame the persona for this. I gotta, I, I blame the episode structure for it being so interchangeable. Um, I'm going to have to go with A. Unless, Art, Art, uh, Artes, if you want to change it to nah, B. Nah, man. If, I'm A strong all the way. All right. A. A. Two for A. I'm sorry, uh, Chorus, but put him in A. I feel like I'm going to be the one just lowballing a lot of these characters. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we're having this these discussions because, uh, I mean, some of these... Some of these, I was hoping we'd have some different opinions here. So that's great. I'm glad mm. about this. Yahoo! I'm Bob Danilo. I make gluten-free desserts. Not gonna lie. We're struggling at the moment. He was actually in like half of the episode of The People vs. Martin Sugar. One of the best episodes. I do not remember it. Wait, was he? He was a convict, wasn't he? Yes, he was a convict after Martin Sugar got arrested, and he had to change disguises. Uh, I do. I don't remember much from him. I remember the episode, and I will fight you on that opinion. The best episode of American Dad was the hot du- hot tub musical one. That's a great one. I, I give this character a D D list. D for me as well. I agree with D. I don't remember who yeah, this guy is. I, I keep getting confused. I agree with D. Can you give me? I was getting him confused with the life coach that we have later, where Roger possibly one of the better episodes is when like Roger tries to change his life around and it's all after the roast and it's him really just trying to kill all of them but I don't really remember this character because I'm getting confused with that one I'm looking forward to that 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 that's a good Roger right there but uh, I like the line <laughs> about the gluten-free dessert shop but other than that there's not much about Bob Danilo to say oh no all right, I think we hit one of our first heavy hitters, that being Braff Zackland, a.k.a. The Legman. Yo! Uh, personal, personal S-tier for me. Uh, I don't think I have to go into details as to why I think S-tier, but uh, what do y'all think? Hmm. I do like him, but is he S-tier material? Mm. Like, I, might, I think I would give him an A. Is I'm not the world's biggest fan of Wheels and the Leg Man. I love their intros, but as soon as they start like doing their comedic bits, I'm just like, okay, we've heard this before. Though I do really love the banter that we occasionally get. But for me, I think he's just an a- he's good. He's definitely higher up there with the Rogers, but he's not perfection like certain other ones. Yeah. I don't know. I, I might. I, I'm still gonna have to stick with my S tier. I think the fact that it's always Roger that's the reason that the problem happens. That's mm, what they basically that is deduct. Good. <laughs> yeah. You fake kidnapped my mom, didn't you? Whoa, 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 whoa. How did you know that? I, 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 I don't know if I can put him any lower than S. I think this is one of Roger's. Well, best. Dan, I'm about to break your heart a little bit because I agree with Chorus. He is. I see where you're coming Mm. from with wanting to put him in S, but he does feel more of an A. Like, he is a bit more on Roger's fleshed outside of his personas. And since I do enjoy the banter he and the leg wheels and the leg man have in their little intros, but it's it. The cases always do dilute to it's Roger's fault. It's 
you guys are not going to go anywhere with your whole gimmick of being s detectives and f solving mysteries. And I love me a good mystery, but it's just like, it's just Roger at the end of the day. He's literally just Roger in a different outfit. Yeah, you know, I guess I can agree with that. I think more of um, the appeal of Legman is him and Steve together. Yeah, so I can yeah they're a duo. That. They're a great duo. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I still think he's S, but I can agree with him being A. I don't think he can be any lower than A, though. I think if you're going any lower than A, we're going to have some fighting. I think that's fair if you give <laughs> no lower than A for him. Yeah. Yeah. Yahoo! Can I go out with you and Kevin tonight? Brandon, leave my friends alone! Kevin Ramage's brother, Brandon Ramage. Who that? That is his little brother. See, I don't even remember. D D list. <laughs> yes, he shows up for like a second and then he goes away and we never see him again. I, I say D. I know who he is. There is absolutely nothing to him, so I just give him a D. Alright. Yeah, we're all in agreement. D tier for Brandon Ramage. Sorry, Brandon. Oh no. You want someone helpful at sea? Then I'm your man. The name's Buck Wetnap, survivalist. The survivalist who sucks at surviving. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, the irony. I want to give him. I can't. I don't want to feel like he, he's not an A, but he's also not a C. I, I'm feeling a weird combination of just B, but I I like the irony of it. It's really good. I'm think... also I'm a B as well because I love the saltwater gag, where he is hucking down. It's like the thing is, if you drink salt water. Is that you don't go crazy. You just have to drink more of it. <laughs> no one's ever lived to find out. But that's why we're almost past the tipping point. And I'm like, oh my god, this is a great bit. But it never hits that A for me. But that B in that salt water is like, perfect Roger. Mm. I can agree with that. Oh, I just love All how right. in the end, like, after he's drinking the salt water, it's like, Steve and Roger scared the wolf. By the time Roger's hooked up on salt water... A wolf and Steve are scared of Roger. <laughs> yes. And then he he just mutilates the wolf. Mm hmm. What happened to the wolf? He found out my secret. Did you want to hear my secret? Oh my god. Never be one on one All with right. Roger. Nope, you will lose. No question. My middle name is Miracle, because I was born attached to a dead twin who had a second butt where its mouth was supposed to be. Look, I'm just going to say, mm. A tier for me. She's just, this is Roger when he's fully embracing a character, and I love it. it he's just an adorable little girl, and I just, I can't be mad at that. And I appreciate the air marshal going above and beyond, even though he almost killed somebody, to find this missing child. And she's just so adorable. Yeah, but I feel like you're you're in love with the plot, not not so much with the character herself. Because this is a C for me. Like I remember oh. who she is. I like her. There's nothing special. It's the fact that the air marshal is losing his mind that elevates those scenes. It's not the care, the persona. I think the air marshal maybe also. I gotta agree with that. The air marshal did steal the show. It's like for every what was it like for every minute that she's not found. We're going to kill another passenger. It was, uh, I think that that was one of the better Her moments. name is Miracle, um, because, like, she almost died during her birth. It's wholesome. <laughs> and I, I'll be honest, every I time, can't... every time I see a trailer for a movie like that, like, the Miracle Child, I'm like, please <laughs> shoot. Please, can I get cancer? Is that going to get me out of this trailer faster? <laughs> I hate those movies whenever they pop up because they are all the goddamn same. <laughs> so this one, see, yeah. Artis, I am so sorry, but you're just wrong on this one. Uh, I, I'm i going to have to agree with Chorus on this. I got to go with C. You wound me. You both wound me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm but so right. sorry. I'll get you back for this. Oh, oh, sorry. No, no, you've got me confused with someone else. I'm a Caribbean dancer. The name's Calypso Banana Puffy Sleeves. I'll give points for the name, but there's not a lot else to go on with Calypso Banana Puffy Sleeves. It just drips in appropriation for me. I'm, I don't know. I feel more of a D, and I don't even remember 
the character as much. And also, like, dude, how can you quit country so- music? I like country music, actually. Fuck country music. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I want to say this one's a D for me, though, because I don't particularly care for the character. But I do... Is this isn't the same episode to where Roger gets married? Yes, to the, uh... He tries to have a tragic He's... life, so he marries... Oh! Yeah. Mm. Yes, because I love that episode, that persona. But this is the one he puts on to get out of it, correct? Yes. See, I love the That's character correct. before, but this persona I am not about... I agree. I think D tier. I love the name. That's all I gotta say about him. Not a great persona. Oh no. I'd say it was a greater leap for mankind than the moonwalk. <laughs> According to Roger, this is his best persona. And that's putting a lot of weight on that. And I don't think that it can hold up to that weight. I like the design, but mm-hmm. I can't put it any higher than a C. Yeah, so C for me, because there's a certain level, though, where, like, there's funny, pathetic Roger, but then there's just cringe, pathetic Roger, and this is definitely cringe, pathetic Roger for me. Yeah, I'm feeling more D, because I really don't remember this character, but I agree with you guys. C. All right, we're making good time here. We only have this many more to go. Oh, shit. (laughs) Death Wish style. Death Wish was a movie. Starring Charles Bronson. You know, it, I, I don't really know the reference that he's trying to pull off other than the fact that it's Charles Bronson. I don't know what he was from. Um, but I love that he's trying to, uh, that in the end he figures out that it's one of his personas. I don't know if, this is really just Roger, though. He it is. Charles yeah. Bronson. That's the thing. I can't, I can't give it. I'm, I'm giving it too much credit already because I love this episode. It is, same. Uh, but I can't give it any higher than a C. Mm. I, this is just him I dressing feel, up I, as a character. D. Because mm. I really do love this episode. But, Artis, you're right. It's just Roger in outfit. So, yeah, it has to be D. Mm-hmm. Now who's in love with the episode oh, no. and not the character? I'll kill your mother! <laughs> <laughs> This fucking guy. This is the this is the gold medal one, right? Where it turns out that Stan's hero, yep. <laughs> the American team that beat the Russians in the Olympics, this gold medal scenario that is just so ingrained in his mind that he has a museum to it in his room. That Roger's like, oh yeah, I was one of those guys. Then he's like, takes him out. He's like, I don't believe it. Takes him to like the reunion. He's like, holy shit, my hero's Roger. So he starts being Roger's like lapdog, doing everything for him. Mm-hmm. Only to find out Roger did steroids and that holy shit, it's a Lord of the Rings reference now. <laughs> is that the episode or is that Chex? But then again, Chex I think is a lot more uh has a, is a lot more of his own character mm-hmm. than Roger. I mean than uh Charles Bronson Roger. Yeah. Um and that episode is great and I think Chex is a great character. I love the fact that they edited Roger into those photos. <laughs> that was a great gag. I love that Stan never noticed that before. That's a great gag. Um, I don't know if I'd say A tier great. Absolutely B tier for me. You're killing me. You're killing me again. You're both killing me again because I would give him an A. And it's like, if there's a scene I remember, aside from the Lord of the Rings stuff, it's him waking up next to the woman at like the convention that like he didn't want to sleep with, but they got drunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That was good. That's All what right. remember? I remember I him know. slitting a dude's throat with his ice skates on the ring. Oh, that was oh, so that sick. Oh, that too. I'm giving... Uh, I might go with A. I might go with A then. I'm still sticking with B though, because for as much as I love his, like, bits that he has, he just doesn't really... He becomes Gollum at the end of it. So I don't feel like... Maybe he was in the episode longer, I'd be more comfortable giving him an A. But for this one, peak moments, but still doesn't reach go any higher than a B. I think he is definitely A-worthy. I think Artes has convinced me. A, baby! They call me Chili because I got ice in my veins. 
What's with these cards, Bad Larry? You're screwing me with these cards! Love this character just for that one line and then just him being a terrible poker player. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the best gags. From work. We know each other from work. Oh, that's where we know him from. <laughs> from the coffee shop! I don't know! I'm trying to play a hand here! I'm teetering on A to B. I, I just love the character of Chili so much. Uh, what do y'all think? I'm more B because... He, just from the appearance, he does resonate again, resonate resonating that douchebag energy. But the bits in comedy you draw from him, it's I like it, but it's not A material. It's more B list for me. Well, I'm coming in with a tiebreaker. I'd say he's a B, just because he has great early in the early moments. He has a great bits, but then he kind of peers out to just being Roger after that. That is definitely I, I can agree with that. <laughs> We've got non-union sound, so the movie's gonna sound like shit! Ow! He was a cameraman, or no, he was like a... What What, what do they call those guys? Gaffer? Um, a gaffer. Yeah, gaffer. He was a gaffer. Uh, oh, yeah, he was a gaffer behind the scenes for that film that Stan was shooting with... Was it Vin Diesel or Dwayne The Rock and the monkey sidekick? It was Vin Diesel with the monkey. His whole bit was that he's in a union. That was his whole joke. It's like, ah, oh, union time. Oh, that's our break. That's time for lunch. And he just keeps leaving at the worst possible times. That's funny, but I, you know, it's it's very, you know, it can get pretty repetitive. I would say it was C, if not D for me. C for me. It was funny once, but it doesn't hit after that. I'm a biased theater person. I would have said B, but yeah, C. Everyone meet Clashawn Montague. Diamonds, diamonds, friends, and men, diamonds. The leading lady in that episode, uh, where her and Stan have a very intimate kiss at the end of the Bruh, play. They, they fucked. fucked. They, they don't they kiss. Fucked. They don't kiss. Yeah, they fucked. They fucked. I was trying to put it <laughs> lightly, but yeah, they fucked. They bone. In, Haley was right. In public Haley reality. Was right all along. You won't see that on HBO. Will... No. Then, uh, what would you all say this one is? Because I'm leaning towards an A, though uh, there's some moments I would definitely almost consider C S tier because this is just peak Roger and Stan with this character. Sorry, yeah, Roger and Stan, their relationship is just on full blast in this episode. See, my bias wants to say S, but also A because it's like... Uh, the relationship in dynamics he, ha he has with uh, Stan this episode was great, and it's it's theatrical combat. I I, don't know, I just love seeing Rod. Roger definitely is a performer at heart, and this really shows with this persona. And he just pours his whole heart into it, and he gets rightfully pissed at Stan for like showing him up, and he wants to showcase that he can do this, that he is talented. I gotta go with S, actually. I think this is one of Roger's best. I'm surprised she hasn't shown up again mm. uh, with how great she is. Um, I love the fact... This is also Petty Roger, but the best of Petty Roger, where he mm -hmm. basically gets rid of the competition. Roger doesn't take no for an answer in terms of getting what he wants in terms of an acting job. Yay. So, And that scene with Stan at the end was... I, I mean, what are you gonna... I, it's, it's, it's one of the... Classics of American television. Can't can't beat it. I gotta go with S. Personally. Yes! So we're all in Yeah, I can feel it. That is an S clap. That that moment alone does put her in the S tier for just being the one of the most iconic Roger moments. <laughs> go ahead, open your eyes. Hello. S tier. No argument, nothing said, just S moving on. <laughs> I think put I him in D. Really <laughs> Ooh. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's two to one. I gotta say no S tier way. as well. Actually, let, let's I mean, talk about this is it. my story with this character. This is my story with this character. I saw this episode where their actual episode. I was like, oh, that was pretty cool. But then I also remember in the 200 where they'd make this huge. I was like, oh, who can forget Clip Clop? And I forgot. I was the one that was like, who the fuck is the horse? <laughs> so I'm just like sitting here. I'm like. I don't remember this guy. He Roger's a horse. How could I forget that? So for me, is I remember not remembering who he is. That is my biggest attachment memory with Clip Clop. So I just give him a C. 
I love Clip Clop and he what quickly purpose he serves in the story is nice. But uh yeah, I have to like honestly, if we're ranking the personas, he would be in C tier. All right. I know when I'm beaten. Because we can't put Clip Clop up against the same time where Roger and Stan had sex. Those two are just <laughs> not equal in the same territory. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's fair. That is fair. Somebody, please! My name is Clive Trotter, and I'm an American, and I am in trouble! Uh, he is the one who ran away after Francine got attacked. Oh, uh, yeah. Not much oh, to yeah. say. Oh, yeah, fuck that guy. D. D. Yeah, no, he sucks. D. Okay, we're all in agreement. D. Oh, no. But what about my scale model? Stan, it took quite a bit of doing, but I managed to wipe my butt with it. It's just Roger again, dressing up as a known figure. D. I would elevate it a little higher. I would say C, but I could say D as well. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are on, but I want to give this guy a B, but the fact is this is just Roger. It isn't like a new persona. Is the fact that he and Ro Stan are just fighting like... Stan wants to have this American, like, restaurant this, like, I don't know if you guys have rubies, where it's, like, the 50s diner type look. Mm -hmm. And then, like, no. Roger takes over it. Like, no, this we're going to do, like, a Chinese restaurant. They brought a bring in Guilo, absolutely hype American dad character. And they had the whole scene with the cow. Stan and Roger are fighting. All of a sudden, they stop. It's, like, the cow's being born. They immediately, like, run off see the cow like they're having like this great moment slowly drive back to the restaurant and then just immediately pick up again <laughs> yeah I like it's just roger i so i can feel like i i want to give him a b but it it's just roger so i feel more comfortable giving him a c i gotta go yeah. c too so i think c i think c is fair i think he does when he does rip off people it does lower it a little bit but um i think this was one of his better ones yeah it's one of the better roger stan episodes Colton doesn't take orders from nobody! I'm off my meds! The only thing this character does is he yells, I'm off my meds, and then bangs Francine's head into the fridge door. Constantly. I am not remembering this one, so I'm gonna have to go D. Yeah, me neither. D. Good with D as well. Very quick cameo and didn't leave a lasting impression. I think left a little bit of a more lasting impression with that one line, but I can agree with D. Oh no. Tacos! Oh. Who's crying? <laughs> Not my favorite. And, I, and you know what? I, the only joke with Cousin Phil that I remember is something with a, like, he eats a banana in a very phallic way. And that's the only joke I remember. And it wasn't even that funny. Like, it's, it's it was funny-ish, but like, They've done that a lot better. So I would say D for me. Whenever Roger plays a character that's supposed to be of the family, I like that. I'm leaning either towards C, but he did not leave much of a, an impression. So yeah, more of a D. Complete D, yeah. All right, perfect. Oh no. <laughs> eh. Uh, C. I would say C as well. I love his signature crisscross applesauce move, but that's all he's got going for him. Yeah, I give him C. Give a warm welcome to Mr. Cuss Mustard! Thank you kindly. A! I think he deserves an A just on the fact that he lived through the trauma of having to see these kids go to an orphanage, and that he sings about seeing an ugly woman's face. <laughs> I think that's A worthy alone. I want to give him an A because him discovering the true the true soul of country music is hilarious, and it turns out the true soul is just complaining about your ugly ass wife and liking NASCAR. <laughs> Perfect moment. But then he is also a country singer, so I feel like I have to give him a D. You just don't like country. Oh man, one hundred percent. But I feel like we you're showing your bias. Let's compromise and just say he's a D, okay? No. <laughs> a compromise at all i know but for real though i say i do like him i fucking love the song but legit a for me yay all right we're all in agreement a tier absolutely we all agree on that perfect Yahoo! sorry i'm late you know like not super enticing as a character but 
My bias shows with a name like Dan Ansem Handsome. I mean, I like think I took after him a little bit. Oh, Dan. <laughs> I, I know, I'm very modest. I think we should give him at least a B, because I do love his moments, but he's also kind of a Roger character where, oh yeah, he's doing this bit. And that's about, there's never anything about, that really elevates this character for me outside of the name. Honestly, he's like one of the most attractive Roger Sonas out there, and I, I love his, I, I love it, he's so suave, he's so, mmm, smooth. But yeah, uh, B. All right, I can I can agree with the B. I think B is giving him. I think that's giving him a lot of credit. So B is good for me. Dmitry Crutch licked me off. New exchange student from Russia. Um, I like the character of Dmitry Crutch licked me off. I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna say Dmitry. You gotta say the full lick name. Me off. Dmitry Crutch licked me off. Um, I think it's a B. I think I can agree to that. Because he has a great opening where he's, like, legit just being Drago. And he does, like, have a great, like, where Stan, like, literally has to yell, like, use your legs. He's like, oh, shit. And just kicks Barry through the ceiling. Like, he has a great presence, like, great two or three moments. But I think he tops out at a B. Y'all generous. I would have given him a C because it's, like, He's there for one purpose, and then, of course, in a Roger classic style, he betrays Stan. Mm. No, he doesn't betray Stan. He helps Francine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, in that case, B. All right, yeah, I can totally agree with the B, and B is where we're going to put him, then. You recognize this woman? That's Constance Mathers. Where did you get this picture? The security camera. Throw the students in here. Oh, damn, really? Already? Out the gate, I'm saying damn. this. It's I funny know. that he and Haley had this back and forth. I'm like, okay. This is okay. I remember who he is. Uh, yeah, but that, he doesn't really have a lasting impression. That's about it. I can agree with that. Oh, yeah, he is that character. Yeah, D. I flat out forgot who he was. Alright, D tier works for me, too. So then D... Yeah, I think he at least deserves a C, because I definitely remember his ass. Is it I gotta go with D. I think. Ah, fine. Personally. I'll take, I'll Sorry. be the one, this will be the one time I overhype a character. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> it's Dom Fikowski. Uh, I really like his design and I like the joke where he appears at the city council hall meeting and he offers everyone free asphalt <laughs> and they're all just grabbing it with their hands like it's candy and they're all burning off their skin. I think that was a pretty funny joke. I'd give him a C, just because I do. Th I definitely remember him. I do like his asphalt bits, and I do like the fact that he like legit is like when Stan asks him like, "Please don't do this for me." He's like, "Ugh, fine, man. I'll do it for you." Because that's just a side you never see Roger actually give in like that ever. But mm -hmm. I still feel like he's never like super funny with the character. It's just C tier. Because I think the actual character, the best persona of that episode, comes later after him. Yeah. I can agree I with can that. I can agree, too. I give him C for the character, but A for that ass. Fault. Yeah, he's pretty thick. Very thick, indeed. Wait, if you don't play, why are you wearing a Martin Guitar t-shirt? That's because I'm a hipster, dumbass. We pretend to be stuff. Um, there's not much to say about Donald. I like the fact that he has, like, this amazing guitar riff, and then... Before getting to the end, he's just like, you get the idea, I win. <laughs> he just stops there. And then I do like, I think it's pretty funny, the twist at the end where it's like, okay, well, I'll let, the the deal was whoever loses can never show their face at the coffee shop again. And then he's like, okay, I'll let you keep coming back if you pay for my guitar lessons. Ooh. I thought that was a pretty good and he, twist. And he bet, asked for his soul. He sold his soul to the devil. He's like, oh yeah, man, just pay for my guitar lessons. Like, oh yeah, sure. Devil immediately just sends the other guy to hell. Nice. Which I feel like is just a perfect Roger moment. But I don't think he's that great other than just being hipster Roger. Great guitar solo. Well, I feel like that could have been any Roger character. So maybe just a C for me, I think. Say C as yeah. well. Either C or B, but I could say I'd C. I'd say C or D, but yeah, C. 
here's what you all have to do. Everybody go back to lying to each other. S, 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 S. Y'all are fucking high. He's a B at best. I've never thought no. I've never thought no. Doctor Penguin has ever been a funny character. I'm like, oh, he's a therapist. He's doing this whole bit. He's helping the family by not really helping the family. But every single scene he's in, I'm like, we need Doctor Penguin. I'm like, he really? Is he really this great? He feels like the character that the show runners think is amazing, but isn't. I still like him, but I only will give him a B. No higher. I... Hmm. Oh, that puts me in a tough position. I love Dr. Penguin. Um, I really do. I love Dr. Penguin so much. I love the fact that they all know it's Roger, except for Jeff. I forget if Jeff knows at that point. I don't think he does. Yeah. They all know it's Roger, and yet they know exactly how much of a terrible person he is, yet they all go to Roger for help mm. with their... And his, I, and he has terrible help. I think that that's a great bit. Um, I think just I'm sad that they killed him off. Yes. They did. That makes me upset. Made me happy. <laughs> I, I'm going to. Y'all can vote however you like, but for me, he's just a B. I'm gonna... He's a great facilitator of jokes, like in other episode bits, like Haley becoming twelve or whatever that age she was supposed to be. But for me, he's a facilitator. He's not terrible. I think he's pretty good, but he tops out at a B. So I can't put him at B, but I don't know if I can put him at S either. I gotta yeah, go with A. Yeah, I feel like if we were to compromise, A. I just, I just like Dr. Penguin. I like his appearances. So that's two to one. So I'm going to have to put him in A then. No, I, I knew this was going to be the one character. I was like, I'm going to just disappoint everyone with this one. Is Pen <laughs> Mr. Dr. Penguin, I'm like, nah, I don't care for him. You are a disappointment to all of the American Dad fans out there. Shame. Shame on you. Yahoo! Come on in, you're safe here. I will not send you back to Cuba. B for ecstasy. I'll give him a B too because the, when he does ecstasy and just his eyes get huge and he just starts twirling around like the lights, I was just dying because it was so funny to me. Plus, the name is Yaya. Like, it just slayed me in that scene. So I give him a B, but because I don't think he's good enough to be an A. Mm -hmm. I can agree with a B. I think a B is a good uh, ranking for him. I am a manually articulated performative Kinesio maquette named Dudley Dingleberry. I don't like the puppet, personally. I like how he has a, like, a history. Like, I like his history and how he's psychotic and how, um, it's all because of the, what the, was it, like, that yeah, paint, the makeup. fume, the fumes. I don't think I see, because I remember the character, I remember the episode, but it, it just doesn't stick in my mind enough to get justify any higher. I can, I, I can't go any... I, I can't get any lower than a C, but I really want to give it a B. I like Dudley Dingleberry. I think he's a very psychotic personality. Uh, um, he's not... He's not a certain... A psychotic that we'll get to later on. But, really? uh... We'll, 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 we'll see. Okay. What do you think? I... Uh, ah, I'm biased because I don't like ventriloquist dummies. It's giving me goosebumps. Mm. Like... The act like the story of Goosebumps vibes and Chucky vibes, so I don't know. I'll be nice and give him a C because he did make a lasting impression on me. All right, a C tier it is then for Dudley Dingleberry. Every member of the family can't see one persona, so they see it as a regular mm. person, and. Elijah, what was it? I always forget her name, too. That's not a good sign. Um, Alicia Wilkner was the persona that Steve could not tell was Roger. So they made out during Spin the Bottle. No, no, you gotta oh. remember the extra bit that they added at the end. Or not only do does it show, like, okay, like, Steve has one of his first kisses with this girl, Spin the Bottle. Like, you see him slowly lean in, you see these normal people, then you just see Roger come in at the end. But then he goes on <laughs> to say, like, what? That can't be you. We went on... Four dates. 
and Rogers goes six. I roofied, I roofied you on two of them. I love that ending Roger bit. But for me, the character just, there's nothing to her under that, that one, there's no character, there's just that one comedy bit. So I kind of just want to give her a C. Or no, sorry, not a D, I, D, I think. I would, uh, I'd say C or D. I would say C for just, even though it was a quick bit, it was more of a lasting impression than the other quick bits. I'll give it C as well. I'll make mine a C just because that is a very good bit. That is one of the best bits, I think, in my opinion. Who? Oh, my stars! She has sex with the mayor. And that's the only thing that her character has. And that she wins the pie contest. That's all I can say about her. She's not a great character, otherwise. Mm. And I don't think she's a good cook either. I like the I like the design. Yeah, she's not a great cook either. I don't know. I I, I can't. I I gotta give it like a D. I think. I'm more on the fence of like a C because like I like she she has like a Southern Belle uh, attitude about her, and even though it's a classic American Dad, haha twist. It was Roger or one of his personas messing up stuff again. This one I feel like. Yeah, it, it follows that formula, but it's also just... I don't know, I like I like the Southern Belle element to it, and with the baking contest. That there's always some sort of third rival I coming like out too. and just messing up stuff. And it was Roger. I like that too. I think that that was a very good bit. Uh, I like that he came out of nowhere, but I can't really give him anything higher than a C then. Eh, fair. Of course. Eh. C, maybe, D. I don't think she's that memorable other than like, oh, the twist, it was Roger all along. I'm like, of course it is, it always is. I know, I give her a C. I, or no. Alright, so then I think we're all in agreement with C. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I can live with that. Hello, Snat. I'm Ernest Schlumpel, your long-lost relative from Alsace-Lorraine by way of Mykonos. He showed up for like a second. Ernest Schlumpel. Oh, do not yeah. remember him at all. Same. So, D, I guess. Alright, so, D D's. tier. D tier it is. He's getting the D. <laughs> I sure hope he can take it at oh, his no. age. Somebody remind me to cancel my Ambien prescription. <laughs> so, this is the one character I just could not remember the name of. And I looked at the wiki and I could not find the name of the character. I think I'm like 80% sure this is the director from the Pinata Named Desire episode. I'm pretty sure this is him. Sounds right. It looks like, it definitely looks like a director character, but even then, I don't think he was in that episode for much long. Yeah, yeah I don't really remember him, so I'm going to have to go pick D then. Same. All right, I'm good with D too. D for Double that. Double D. Oh no. Don't you worry, babies. Mama's gonna get some food stamps so you can get the milk duds you need. Her character is that she is drunk and uses a baby lasso to get welfare. <laughs> I like the concept of it's just so dark, but it's so dark that you laugh from discomfort or you're just that twisted. I gotta give it like a B. <laughs> I give it a C. So I remember her, but I don't, uh, don't remember her comedy. The funny bits. I I might have to go with the. <laughs> I might have to go with the C as well. Um, I think that there's one of the uh, funnier characters. <laughs> um, but I also think that it is um, not a great. You know, she was very funny, but she wasn't there all that often. But. When she was on screen, she was one of the best, so I gotta go with C. Yeah, fair. Maybe it's just my sick twist sense of humor of thinking of a baby lasso being funny. She's very funny. She's very funny. That that one thing was very funny. It's like, the system works! It does. And then she just throws, I'm gonna throw me a, my lasso until I get me a man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Captain Francois Dubonnet, French Interpol. I have devoted 10 years of my life to toppling your criminal empire, Madame Marouche. He's from Jack's back. He's one of the ones that he goes back and forth with, with uh, Haley. Uh, oh, yeah. D. D. 
Dusty. All right. I like the name, but that's not going to save him. Yeah. Oh, no. What's your quota, Freddy? What? My name's Andrew. How many Ferraris you sell this month, though? Freddy, the 80s are over. He's like a blind guy, and he says, listen, Freddy. <laughs> that's his whole spiel. But it's a really good, it's a really oh, good that one. That joke was so funny. Okay, if it's not that guy, not an S, but just for that whole Freddy, Freddy, that's an A to me. <laughs> I'm just. Oh man, he doesn't really have a character, but I do feel like just giving him a C would be respectable enough, just because that could have happened with anyone, any Roger persona. But it is so P comedy; it definitely elevates it above just being like, oh, eh, so so character. Mm -hmm. I gotta go with B. I gotta go with B. I I can't give this A because of just how short he is on, but. I can't give it a C either, because the C is very disrespectful to how hilarious the character is. I'm, I can vibe with a B. I'm sick with a C, but feel free to give it a B. I'll be outvoted. <sighs> okay, I think we can still sell. What the hell? This is honestly one of the- It looked like a very- You feel super uncomfortable We're... with this episode. Yeah. This is like Roger, yeah. where he is like, it hits crosses the line of this isn't that funny. This is just because you has the family. He has these kids. They're like, no, no, honey, let's just do this. It's okay. You weren't a real cop. It's like I am a real like. Because isn't he like a mall cop? And that's a bird job with the character. He's a, he's a, he's a he's a stay at home cop. I think is the joke. Yeah. But he is like it's one of those bits where he's committing so hard to this character that it honestly feels like it's a different show. Whenever it's like cut to him, like he is so committed. I want to give him the A. Just because it's like, I I remember this episode. I remember how uncomfortable I felt looking at the family, but laughing as he tries to assault Steve and his friends where he actually does hit Barry. And at the very end, it's like, I was the guy that was trying to kill kill you. And Steve just like, what? Like, I got to give this one an A. I just love it too much. Doesn't the, what about doesn't you, the character die at the end, though? Yeah. Yeah, he shoots himself in the head. Oh. After they run out of red sauce. <laughs> yeah, um, I gotta go with Chorus here with an A because the commitment Roger has for this character was insane. Like, jeez. Uh, yeah, I'm speechless. <laughs> I too have to go with an A as well. Um, I love the fact that he convinces Steve to pull pranks and how to pull them. And he's the one, he knows like it's Steve they're going after. And yet, the commitment to the character is just so... I can I can respect that, mm -hmm. despite the fact of how uncomfortable it is. It's mm -hmm. so intense, and I love it. Yahoo! I'm drowning in bulldozer invoices! I'm supposed to keep the yellow copy, but the purple one's prettier! Stan just assumes, like, oh, this is just gonna be Roger again when he finds out there's another Asphalt King. Walks in, finds out it's Roger in the reception area. He's like, of course. He's like, no, 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 this isn't me. It's, I'm just his idiot brother, Frankie. Like, mama never liked me, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, oh, yeah, go in the room. He's like, Stan's like, okay, this is going to be you again, isn't it? <laughs> and he just opens the door, and it's a human guy. It's like an actual dude that Roger somehow, like, legit convinced the whole family that he's his twin. And, like, we're so used to I love, I love that bit. We're so used to seeing, like, Roger, who is, like, in control on top, like, these sociopathic characters. So to see a version of Roger who is legit just pathetic, I just love it. I just love that we, he's just a standout for me. He's an A. Easily an A for me. <laughs> what about you? Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna not like this. I don't remember this character at all, and I would give him a D. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's scathing. <laughs> that's scathing. Mm. I I gotta I gotta agree with Chorus on this. I gotta go with A. Frankie is. I love that he's just like a stupid, nervous wreck. The bit that I love is like when Stan just like the is like just stone face. Like, so what do you get out of this? Like, oh nothing. Oh yeah. He just rips off like the glasses and he turns fat again. He's like, I get some. Oh, I just get a bunch of intel for my for the Asphalt King's business. Oh, that was a good bit, too. I, I I think I gotta stick with my A. Same. Yahoo! A million dollars? 
Actually, if you look closely, it says a million doll hairs. No, it doesn't. Oh, well, it was supposed to. The entire B plot. I love this stupid B plot. I love. It takes place in like one area. It's just him and Steve working on a porn together in a diner. I love that. That's what happens. And I love the bit with the two waitresses. Yeah, but those are oh the waitresses. God. The character himself, I can't really give him. I feel like that's just Roger. Even though he's like, oh, we're gonna do pepperoni. We're gonna bring back old school porn. I'm like. Eh. <laughs> I know who you are. I think the whole your whole situation's pretty good. It's just Roger. It's just a C for me. I mean, he definitely looks <laughs> the part of a porn writer. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely say it does elevate him above a, a D. Because I, I can remember him. But overall, it's just... It's just Roger. Yeah, it's it's... Yeah, C. Same. Just Roger. Alright, I would go with C. I think he does have some funny moments, but it is just Roger. Best tiramisu I've ever had. <sighs> <sighs> Maybe too much rum. Dance, my people. I like this. Dance! <laughs> I like how he changes the uh, national anthem to banana... Uh, was it? Banana Rama? Mm-hmm. That was a, that was a, it, I think General Bonito Pequeno is, is an A in my book. Mm. I just think he's a B, though. You think he's a B? Mm. Yeah, he's... I can see that. Yeah, I like this, the comeback where Stan tries to save him from his people, but he was just, he's a dictator. Just, Roger just went off for a power trip. So, every episode, Roger. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but he was he was great power tripping. So I give it a B. Mm -hmm. Alright, B. I'm fine with the B. It's too early to speculate whether Steve is dead or alive, but when we come back, it won't be. Uh this is one of Roger's most heinous uh personas in my opinion. Great persona, but I think what he does is extremely heinous. Um but that makes it even better, I think. He finds out Haley has Steve pretend to be missing, and then he keeps having Steve pretend to be missing to get the news coverage, and he tries to pin it on the parents before he tries to pin it on Haley. I also love how when she has the pitch meeting, she literally just drops a gun and is like, now pitch. She is legit gonna shoot someone if she doesn't like your idea. I feel like this is Roger personifying, like, major journal journalists and media who was just thirsting for a story to get views or clicks and it's disgusting but i love it and i'm feeling like either a or b i give him an a i gotta go with a on my this end. is perfect All right. this is probably roger's best female character um mm, i don't know about Dang. that i see I think... one of my favorites coming up I see one of my favorites coming up too. I think we might be talking about the same oh, favorite. Oh, I hope we are. So, uh... I hope we are. Yahoo! Hello there. I'm George Hamilton. Twenty years ago. Oh my God, I loved you. Yeah, I just give him a D. He's in one very quick scene, gets the up on like the guy who was shitting on him, and then he just disappears. Yeah, this is one of those instances where it's like Roger pulling a fast one to save his own, uh, his other persona's butt, so he, he's not there for long, he does a quick job and he's out. Hey, I'd give it a D. I live with a D too. I think a D is a good one for this one. I like that it's just a dumb reference to this random guy. Oh no. The Chinese grocery was open. We can still make peanut brittle. I think this is definitely not one of Roger's best. I think his better one's coming up soon. That was in the same episode. We'll get there eventually. Um, I give it a... He was generally dis... He was happy when he figured out that in the alternate reality, he could dress as a girl if he wanted to. So I can appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I would say C. See, was this the one where he was like a dork or something? No, um, this is the one where, this is the white Porsche Christmas episode where he gets the life of Lewis, 
Oh. Yeah, I'm feeling D. I can live with a D. And you said D too, right, Chorus? Yes. All right, D it is oh, no. then. I'm Gina Lavetti, and this is me. I like her cause. I can relate to not having to... It's hard. It really is hard finding jeans that just fit you just right. So I appreciate her cause uh, and the passion behind this character's motivation. So I'd give it like a either a B or an A. With a B, I don't know if I give it an A just because I. Well, I like the cause. I don't know if I like the persona all that much. I would just give her a C. I love the fact that it turns out that her genes are really aliens. <laughs> but I yeah, because she uses the uh, parts from the ship. <laughs> That was a good twist. I don't particularly find that her character is that enjoyable or that funny. Like, great cause. Meh character. I might have to lower mine to a C, too. Sorry, our eh, case. Not yeah, now that I think about it, there's not much I can remember from the character, so yeah, C. Break glasses, though. I lure you into the depths of the sewer and to your doom. Uh-huh, and how are you going to do that, then? Um... Get in the sewer! I literally just saw this episode today. This uh, oh my god, I cannot wait to off. talk about... <laughs> that. Cannot wait to talk about the other clown. That was a great <laughs> end. That was a great ending to the episode where it's just... He's just Pennywise. But then it's like, shit, I'm actually stuck down here. Steve, help, and Steve just walks away. I found that really funny. I want to give him a B, but I feel like he's actually... I can't get... I I feel like he's really just a, a C. B, I think it's too high. I, I gotta give him a C, too. I want to give him a B, but I... Like, it's it's very quick, but it is very funny. Yeah, I Come. feel like I want to give him a B. He's love his bits, but I think... I know he's really a C character. Ah, but he's just Pennywise. I would have given... Uh, I'll compromise if you guys give him a C, too, but, like, he's more of a D to me. He's a Pennywise ripoff. Might as well just call him diamond dumb yeah but at least he he admits it he's even like oh i decided to go what was it he decides to go like pennywise style i'm glad hands the clown uh it was so it was so funny oh my god <laughs> how is this possible you were with me the whole day that must mean Maybe, maybe. This is totally something Roger would do. He literally just steals the thunder because he heard there was a brunch involved. You can blame him, though. Have you ever had brunch? It's delicious. Brunch is great. Mm -hmm. And he does look pretty good in that costume. I think he's just a C, though. And. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. That was not. Maybe, baby. Was that the same character, though? He, he brings it back. He, he he didn't start it, but he brings it back. Um, there he goes in, stealing other people's thunder. But, C. Yeah, I could. I guess I could go with C as well. C for Chimdale. Maybe, baby. Don't you worry, kid. I'll win this for you. We'll get your foreskin cut off, all right? What? D. I don't really remember much from this character, but I also feel like. I don't want to assume that there was a bunch of anti-Semitic jokes in there, because knowing Roger, but eh, D. As a Jewish guy, I gotta say, I do love some of the stupid things he says. First, the Pharisees killed Jesus Christ, the only true son of God. Oh, boy. I can live with a D, but I think he is one of the funnier one-offs. Yeah, sorry, Dan. It's okay. I totally get it. Oh, no. The teacher here is supposed to be the most intense and demanding instructor in all of clowning and shit. It's Roger, isn't it? It's gonna be Roger. All right. Yes. What? I have to give him a high. I just realized he's a Jake. I have to give him off, isn't he? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's whiplash know. for clowns. I didn't know. The fact that he's like, I'm not. Look, listen here. I'm not here for fun and games. I'm here to mentally abuse you into being a clown, and you will never, <laughs> ever. They just smash cuts like I think he got potential, kid, and just mentally abusing <laughs> Steve. Like I've yet to see Whiplash, but from the clips, like this is just—it's doing a parody, obviously, 
but it is so undeniably Roger and it is so full force that I just have to give it the S. Mm, I'm uh, so torn. I really like the scene where he's kind of in this clown court and the the judge was like, this is not the first time you've been accused of hurting a child. And he's like, but it is the first time I didn't actually do it. May I retract that statement? That was That's a good, a good line. line. All of his lines are fire in this episode. Like, every other thing he says is just gold. Ah, uh, damn. You you convinced me, Chorus. Uh, I gotta give him an S. I think you convinced me, too. I, I gotta give him an S as well. Wait, of all the characters, like Roger wow, Personas... I was not thinking. They're good. But, like, this is one of the few ones where I'm like, he doesn't have a bad joke. Not one. All of his lines are either good or fire. You know what Horse Renoir thinks? Horse Renoir thinks- I don't know, it's weird because he's really good. I like him as his character in the beginning, but then he kind of just turns into Roger with, you know, in a costume at the end. But I really like him at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's in the first half, but you lost me <laughs> halfway there. I- <laughs> He's definitely a C for me. Like, a few memorable moments, but nothing that would push him up into a B. Though I absolutely love the fact that when he and Stan both get high, he's like, I have to hold this flower or I'll float away. He's like, high thoughts, like, uh, cat food. Cat food. And he's like, okay, okay, I'll let go. And he actually flies and floats <laughs> away. I'm like, oh my, that was a great moment. But only, only a C though, only a C. Yeah, I'm feeling C too. All right, I can live with the C. I can live with the C. I'm Safari Man Hubert LaGrange, and this is my sidekick, Wheelbarrow Tim, a.k.a. Baby Legs O'Herlihan. Uh, again, it's kind of just Roger in a costume. Um, not, not really... Not a character, not someone of his own caliber, just there for a quick mission. I feel like giving it a D. Well, no, it is him... It is him wearing the costume where he causes Stan to fall into the polar bear exhibit. Okay, yeah, but is he wearing the costume, or is the costume wearing him? You ever thought about that? That's a good question. That's a good question. Um, I, I I can live with a D, I think. Yeah, it doesn't really ring too many bells. I think I'm just have to do D for this one. Mm-hmm. All right, D it is. Oh no! Look at you four: fat, nerdy, smart-mouthed, Asian. You guys are the Goonies. Oh, I thought this was just Roger doing Steven Spielberg. That is what he's parodying. It kind of is. is. <laughs> yeah. So, I like the joke where he constantly thinks the map is real, but that's kind of all he's got going for him. Mm-hmm. I could do a C or D on him. I don't really have too many opinions because I remember Same. who he is. But I, I, I think a C is good. Yeah, I give him a C. I don't think it's D, but I think it's C. Depression. Love the moment. Don't care for the character. Again, just he's literally yeah. just. I, yeah, it's literally just him being the guy. Mm-hmm. D. Like it's very funny when you see him. Like you, it's very unexpected, but it's just him singing the song. Mm-hmm. And him saying depression. That's it. Yeah. I would go with D. D. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Just make it out to Genie Gold Weddings. Who's that? Jeannie Gold, wedding planner. I love Jenny Gold S. It's Jeannie Gold time, yo. I gotta go with S as well, I think. This woman goes above and beyond for her job, and even at the end of the day, she she tries to uphold her reputation of like, I always had these fabulous wedding recitals and whatnot, and the fanciest of things. And every time there's a fuck up between Stan and Francine, she's over here biting her lip. It just, it's okay, I'll still try to fix everything and make it perfect for you guys. And then at the end of the episode, it's just, damn it, there goes my reputation. We doing this at a fucking rip off Chuck E. Cheese. Ah, Jenny Gold, that she tries so hard. Yeah, she's a working mom. She's a working mom and it's a family yeah. business. I think she's just an A. <laughs> no, I think I she's. Go gr- I think I she's good. But I don't see her as high quality Roger. I think she's good Roger. Yeah, I'm still only giving her an A for S. me. Because I can quote 
almost every line for the top two, like, just the peak moments. Genie Gold, I'm like, oh, yeah, she was still pretty funny. But not in that sound holder to that same high regard. I... I, I, I don't think you can convince me otherwise. I think this is Roger's best female persona. I gotta go with yeah. this. You gonna play that game or just lean on it? I don't know how to feel about Jenny from the block. I really don't know. I like her. I think she's very distinct. I actually really do like her. I really like the episode. I love how this is the episode that introduces that Roger has super speed, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Just oh, yeah. It just their death by like slowly like putting the stuff stops to make a phone call then just rides away as the body fake by just splatters snot i think she's an a for me honestly <laughs> same a i can live with an a i think jenny is a very distinct character and i like her yahoo who's that me of course um <sighs> he was an asshole i like his I like his shtick with the puppets, and I like his voice. It's a very asshole voice, but there's nothing else to say about him. See, I remember who he is, but it doesn't make him memorable. See, I'd put, give him, like, a C. So you said C? I'm good with C. I think C is good for Jerry. He's not great. You have no respect for this religion! Hey, could you take it down a notch? You're ruining my buzz. Jesus Christ. So if we don't rank him an ass, we're basically all going I to I feel hell. so conflicted, because it's just... It's just Roger dressing up as Jesus for a Christmas play. It's not really a persona. I know, but the fact that the the it's a scene. The scene gets me every single time. Where Stan just snaps, beats the living shit out of Roger, and we slowly cut to all the Christian religions just looking at this, watching this on TV. It just cuts to the Pope, answers the phone, just goes, Are you watching this I'm like, fuck, this is... <laughs> that is a great scene. I love it. But it's not, again, Artis, you're right. It's not really, it's just Roger. I feel like we'd be doing him a disservice if we didn't rank him at least a B. Is the appearance, the episode, the scene is just so iconic. And it could not have happened unless Roger was Jesus. And he did have those good abs. I can, I can agree with a B. Yeah, B. I think a B is a good ranking for Jesus. See y'all in hell. We talked about this, Roger. You're the one who frees the whales every time. This was gonna be the time you did the dance-off, but here we are in the whale room once again. He's just a hipster. That's all I have to say about him. Pretty much. I don't remember much from him. D. Yeah, I think D. D. I like Jojo Quinoa. Like, it's Jojo Quinoa. Of course it's a freaking hipster. Your last name's Quinoa. Oh no. Your parents weren't too happy about you marrying a Hebrew, but then my book started selling and they changed that tune right quick. I think mm, for this character, I'm feeling either not. I'm feeling like B because it's like he was he had a great banter and back and forth with Francine's persona. And at some at, at one point, they were just dogging each other out. Was it that like she wanted him to say that, oh, you should be an economics professor. And he's like, I'm not into economics. That was a pretty good one. I, I do like the banter he has with Francine. I think this is one of his best uh, Francine, Roger kind of back and forth. And it's not a creepy one either, like we'll get to oh, later yep. on. But uh, I think a B is a good one for Dr. Jordan Edelstein. Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys are about right. Personally, I think he's just more of a C because I have a hard time like trying to remember like exactly what his lines are. But if you guys want to give him a B, I think that's totally fine. Economics! Name's Josh Bicell. Transfer student from the poor part of Santa Barbara. This is the one where he tries to get Steve popular, and he's the one who has him beat up the 12-year-old that was, like, 12 <laughs> grades above. Oh, hi, Steve. How are Yeah, what? It, it, it's, it's very... It's not his best persona, but I think that that edges it out to either a C or a B for me. I feel like we could give him a B. I wouldn't complain too much. But I feel like his, the best moments of that episode all belong to Steve. It's n very few times does this character, Persona, get a real laugh out of me. It's always the stuff that he helps create. So, I think we could give him a C, but I feel like he's 
cl cl very close to being an actual C. Yeah, I'm feeling C since, like, he's more of a catalyst of a character mm -hmm. who invokes things and brings the best out of other people's scenes. Yeah, C for me. I can live with a C. I think C is good. Buying and selling dried flowers. That's right, I buy them too. It's the GameStop model. I also sell PlayStation controllers. I really don't know. This character's difficult for me. I think I like that. I like it's very dumb. I like I like the joke of how her flower shop used to be a GameStop <laughs> and they sold PlayStation controllers. But uh, I don't know. I, I, not my favorite persona. This character falls flat a little bit for me because despite having like a lot of time dedicated to her, she's very much just a parody of Julia Roberts' characters. And I've never seen a single movie. So I don't I can't really connect with the parody of what he's doing. Yeah, same. So maybe you see I can agree with that. I give it a, I can, uh, a I C can, for effort. I can agree with that. C for effort. <laughs> Like Ross on Friends, I'm a docent. But unlike Ross, I don't look like a Manchichi. I know who this... Yeah, I know this is. I don't really care. Same. You could legit just give this guy a D. You could just be anyone. Yeah. If this outfit isn't it's, that impressive. It's, it's a one-off. Are we all yeah. good with D? Yeah. Game, he went. Yeah, I think D. Oh, no. They think you're Kevin Bacon. Yes, Haley, I understand things that happen around me. I think that this is the top tier Roger just impersonating someone else. I think that this is the best version of that, and I honestly think that's worthy of an A in my book. It's killing me that I can't remember him right now. It's just him it's doing just Footloose. Kevin Bacon. He's just doing a lot of Footloose and other references of Kevin Bacon movies that I have never seen, but... And I just love the joke where it's like Kevin Bacon gets arrested. It's like, I don't remember doing any of this stuff, but that's clearly me in the footage. So Roger did a good Kevin Bacon impression. I'd give it like, I'm stuck between B and C. I can go either way. I can't go any lower than a B. I gotta give him a B for that. I'm leaning towards more of C because I'm just having the hardest time trying to remember who he is. Like, yeah. I guess that just, probably a great impression, but... It does it just didn't really hit me. Oh, I guess then our taste is the deciding factor. Oh, Dan, I'm gonna... B or C. Oh, don't do this to me. I'm sorry, Dan. I, I don't know that much about Kevin Bacon. And, like, I have to give him to a C. I'm sorry. Damn. Damn. <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> so very disappointed. <laughs> oh, well. Sorry, Kevin. The name is Kevin Ramage. Roger? I'm only doing this one more time. The name is Kevin Ramage. I like Kevin Ramage. He's just Eminem from 8 Mile. I am say, he feels like a rip-off <laughs> he Eminem. He totally is. Yeah, he's just drug-dealing Eminem, and that's the completely what they're going for. And he's like, you better watch out or we're getting roughed up. Show him, boys, and they just start beating him up. And then they have him beat him up. <laughs> He's like, see this? Oh, that was this will get happen to you. And, like, they have a full family. Like, Rogers has built a cast of characters around this character, and I'm all for it. I think he's an A, personally, but that's just my... That's what I'm thinking right now. See, my Eminem bias wants to say A, but, like, he was... He played a really good antagonist role against Haley and Steve, and... Honestly, without his, like, uh, entourage, he would have been completely incompetent. So I guess I'm more leaning towards a B. Sorry, Artes, I gotta agree with Chorus on this. I think this is one of his best uh, characters. I gotta go with A. Fair. So, Kevin Ramage is an A. Mm -hmm. Yahoo! What's my favorite breakfast sausage? Vice fest. With sauerkraut. Also with Hefeweizen. Baseball player. Show and vice. Tennis racket. Schlesinger. Made up word. Shagel barbin. <laughs> this fucking one. He's just a Swedish weirdo. That's the whole thing Roger decided to go for. But I think he's at least deserving of a B. Because they put so much effort into this. Like the club foot, the slight. L so he has a slight limp. They're like going through all the. Like, this is basically one of the few times where we see Roger build a character. 
and he's like adding all these different quirks and personality traits to it. I really ended up loving it, especially when you tied here with the twist that this is all just Klaus trying to get not die by giving it to someone else. So he intentionally sets Actually, up I Roger. I don't think he knew until afterwards was the thing, from what I mm -hmm. remember. Or did he know? No, That's Roger was point. not aware but I can agree of with the whole plan. I can agree with the B. Yeah, I can see with the B too. I love seeing the buildup of the character. I'm Krispy Kreme McDonald's. My Krispy Kreme mama got raped by my McDonald's daddy. <gasps> What a what a what a Roger line. It is, it really is. And then and then his other line of who wants a smear off ice and some bootleg Ukrainian porn? To kids. <laughs> I I don't know. I just think this whole spiel makes him A worthy in my book. I think he's a more of a B though. Yeah. I like that he's a drummer and that they play Free, free domain music to avoid copyright infringement. But aside from that, yeah, it's just a B. I guess I can live with a B. I think it's a high B, but I definitely I can live with a B. Whatever helps you sleep at night. This is a food restaurant. We don't serve salad. Well, it came from your kitchen. <laughs> mm. I mean, like, it's a funny bit, but... The funny part comes from Stan, so I say D. D, yeah. yeah. I'm not in love with the character. I wish we knew more of him, but D. Oh no, Lara Vanderboobin's the name, and I just joined your workforce. Yourself on me. What? Who said that? This is the episode where he tries to get uh, sexually harassed so he can make a settlement. I respect the hustle. <laughs> Give her a B. I think B is good. I think I love the character. I love how I love this stupid plan he comes up with. It's great. I think it's very B is respectable for Laura. Yeah, B is about what she deserves. So me and my good friend Laszlo Morphine. There's not much of him I remember aside from the head nodding bits. I'd give him like a D. He was a C for me. I, I gotta give him a C too. I love the peacocking and I love the uh, head bobbing. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't give him anything higher than that. So C it mm -hmm. is then. Thank you, Sherry. My name is Helen. Excellent. Drawing a blank on this one. Me too. Yeah, I don't remember yeah, this character at all. Yeah, D. Alright, D is fine for me too. No argument from here. Oh no. I'm Lou Babadoo, business guru. I'm renting Dr. P's office while he's dead or still at Sundance. I can't remember all the stories. I like the name Lou Babadoo, but I don't remember much from this character, so I had to give it a D. Same. I'm fine with a D too. Oh no. You hustling me, boy? There's a lot of characters from this episode and I barely remember any of them. Yeah, same. Like, again, I like the name. I can... He's out. He's playing pool in a pool hall. That's all there is to yeah. it. Yeah. Nope. I love the episode, but yeah, not Roger's best. No, he does so. have a great line, though, where he says, My real plan, though, is to trade $10 for an angry hand DJ from the busboy. <laughs> like, that's a one that great, great Roger line for that episode, but everything else around that, I'm like, yeah, I don't really remember his personas. All right, so then D? Yeah. Yeah. All right, D. Perfect. Oh, no. Just started today. Any hot pieces of tail around this office that like a good groping? This is the persona that Roger had to make up to get the settlement. Luke Fondelberg. <laughs> good name. <laughs> Not quite at the same level as Laura Vanderboobin, in my opinion, but definitely at least worthy of a C tier. I'd give him a C. C. My sister mentioned you'd be by. Madeline Carpel Tunnel, pleased to meet you. I'm not remembering this character as much either. I can remember her that much at all. I... I got nothing to say about her. Same. 
D. D. It seems like a lot of these characters might just be ending up in D because, like, we don't remember them or they don't stick around long enough to make an impression. They don't leave a lasting impression. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't really remember this one. All right, so D. Mm. All right, we're all yep. D then. Oh, no. Listen to Genie or I cut you. Basically a mercenary who literally fucking slashes Steve. <laughs> I like him. I think he's worthy of at least a B, if not an A. Oh, I don't think he's A, but definitely a B. He doesn't talk much, but he leaves enough of an impression that he doesn't need words. Mm -hmm. I agree. I can agree with B. Same B. here. Perfect. B it is, then. Say hello to me. Mario Vincent San Gervasi. Uh, he is the wine person with Stan for the first half of the Julia Rogers episode. It's literally just Stan, uh, Roger wearing a costume, but I like his costume. I think he's just a D. If I D. can barely, don't really care for the Julia Roberts character, I can't really then rank him, this character, as the same level. I can deal with a D too. I mean, he's very, he, it's just Roger wearing a disguise. Mm -hmm. So, I can live with that. Oh no. He was just the pet. He's the he cat. He was just the cat. He's just the cat. Yeah, I love the I do love the bit where he goes outside with Haley. And they're just like, "What do you get out of this?" And it's like, "Oh, just the wet cat food." But he started using dry cat food now, and it sucks. Mm. Yeah, would you guys but, say C or D for this one? I'm leaning towards yeah, a D. Yeah, towards a D. I'm leaning towards a D. He's not great. Oh, no. Hi! It's me, Roger. Uh, Martin Sugar. Don't think I need to go into too much detail with Martin Sugar. I think we all know who Martin Sugar is. Martin Sugar Risk, y'all! Yeah. <laughs> Martin's great. I used a clip from this episode where it's like, no one cares about what you did. You just have to find you likable. I used that for a Steven Universe video where I was talking about the diamonds. <laughs> so I do. I that definitely like think that... Clip. I definitely think that Roger, this Martin Sugar, is an S. You see, embodies so much everything that we love about Roger. A complete and utter monster, but god damn it, we love him. So what makes it any different it, from it being just Roger? It's Martin Sugar. <laughs> I love how he's able to convince the, um, the fucking opposing attorney to side with him by showing a slideshow. Oh my god. I think I have to give him an S as well. Like, he's doesn't show up a lot of the episode. I'm surprised how little he shows up, but for when he's on, he is so good. Yeah, he is very charismatic, and I feel like no matter what I pick, we're, we're probably gonna fall on an S anyway. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Achoo! Ah! Oh! <laughs> is back! You're so clever! Spending mucus! A. I like him. A, yeah. I can... I can live with an A. I think that this is one of his better personas. Um, I love how Klaus is like, you do realize that if you kill Max, you're killing Roger too, right? And they're all okay mm -hmm. with it. So, okay, we're all good yeah. with an A. He's an adorable, rich old friend. All right. Th it was very racist and molest Steve. Yeah. And very sexist as well. It was not. It was, uh... We love him. Because mm -hmm. he has money. This family has a problem. Oh, finally, we can get this all out in the open. I'll start. Klaus, you're useless and everyone hates you. The character is called Mexican. That's all the character is. He's in the very beginning of the episode. Yeah, he's a D. He's just one of the many characters that they show off to reveal what an alcoholic Roger is. Mm -hmm. And not even the best D. one. Mm -hmm. I can live with a D. Oh, no. I didn't throw an orphan out of an airplane just to have Terry drag me back to a life of unsophistication. He pretends to be Greg and Terry's son to get 
into higher society living. I respect the hustle, but it's just Roger dressing up to... It, pre- it's legit. Yeah. This character is just <laughs> Roger in a disguise, not even a new character. Yep. The one joke that gets me is uh, he's doing a Russian accent, and then Greg is like, oh, you're going to have to lose that accent. And I was like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> I think that alone makes it a C, just because he was willing to do the character, but like, you know, that made it easier the, on that's him. just a gimmick. Okay, I can see that. I think it's I a C. I give him a C. C. Uh, get, 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 get a little closer. You, you bend down, kind of at an angle. Yeah! Uh, this is from the episode where he takes her to the wine country, and, uh, Things get weird. Mm. This is another one where this I feel is like literally it's literally just it's just Roger. It's just, yeah, Roger. just Roger. Yeah, it's just Roger. D? I do love well, it's mm, just Roger. No, I can't give him a D. Because he legit I gotta give him at least a, give him a C I, at a, least. A little more than a D. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah, I can give him a C. They remember him, it's just Roger though. Yeah. Yeah. That guy's big head's in my way. Hey, Easter Island, move your fat head! Shh. Oh, I know you didn't just shush me. Again, this is literally what it's listed as in the wiki. Uh, black mm-hmm. woman. With diabetes. Um, mm-hmm. He shows up for like one scene and just him doing a bunch of stereotypical, you know, jargon. Yeah. I don't know. To me, it was a little funny uh, since he's just very... Because it's not the first time Roger has done a hammed up portrayal of like a person of color. It's just, this portrayal is just a stereotypical black woman with diabetes. Large black woman with an attitude. And at least, at least an impression. So I'd give it a C. C. Live with a C. I wonder whose car that was. I remember he was doing a lot of drugs and alcohol in, in a car. But he was like, I wonder whose car that yeah. was. I'm like, it wasn't yours. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a great bit. Great oh. line, but I still think he's just a C. I think he's a, I can look at like a C. Hi, Mr. Mustachos. And Mrs. Mustachos. Just the two of us. I don't remember this character. I remember the it's episode, the one where, uh, but I don't really remember the character. It's the one where Turlington comes back as the spot attack. Mm. Yeah, I remember that. But it just... It, I like the name Mr. Mustachios, but that's all I have to say. Yeah, he's just a D, I think. D? He's a D. In my view. Oh, no. My doctor recommended I volunteer to get over my crippling social anxiety. How's my eye contact? Sit down. He has social anxiety. I I just watched this episode this morning too. I am feeling for him. He isn't. He's a B in my heart. But he's a C in real life. I, <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go with C too. I'm sorry. The the funniest thing about it is just Stan's reaction, where he's telling a story. It's like and Stan's just like sit down. Oh That's man. That's so rude. <laughs> A bird distracted me on my backswing. It was going, kick, kick, kick. That's not my name, and it was saying it right at me. It feels a lot like a less funny Max Jets. Hmm. So I kind of think he's just a C because, A, this is mainly just Roger, and it's just them having fun dicking around with Stan, but I kind of think that's just the extent of the persona. I, I can agree with that. I think a C. I can I, I give him a C. Yeah, I don't remember this character very much, but I'll go with a C. Where you been? You so late. You take bicycle, make delivery. What are you talking about? Bicycle. Again, it's like the black woman character. He just plays a very hammed up version of a person of color, but eh, it left an impression some way. I, I like how the whole stick, the whole reason of trying to get him to join a gym was just to get him into a contract where he has to be the delivery boy. Free labor! That is a very Roger move. You think you're worried about A when you should be worried about C. I think that's really just him, though. It's a racist little one-liner, but I remember it. Same. I'm leaning towards C. C. 
Mm, same. I, I'm leaning towards C2. How do I get home? How do I get home? Where the hell is a trail of racist pieces when you need one? It is literally just Roger in disguise, but here it's a very early episode and like, you know, I can I can cut them some slack <laughs> with this one. I won't. D. D. Damn. <laughs> Damn. D. All right. Oh, no. Oh, uh, is Ramage here? Kevin, one of your little friends is at the door. Uh, up next, we have Kevin Ramage's mother. <laughs> That's it. D. That's all it D. is. D. I, Great I, song, I think it's funny. We're like, you're, oh, I, you know it's me. Don't look so shocked. <laughs> but it's like, that's it. Oh, no. Roger, what are you doing? Signing you up for an adult literacy class. Nocturnal Petting Zoo. D, I guess. I don't really remember it. D, not much of an impression. I, I like the costume, but uh, yeah, just D. We're getting some Ds. We got a little row of Ds coming up. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a little trick I learned to quiet newborns when I worked in the maternity ward. <laughs> mm. Throw them in the D's. D. All right. D. Oh, no. I want to drive the truck. I want to drive the truck. Ask him. No, be quiet. Uh, I don't feel like we should, if we should even count this one because it's a character within a character. Let's team that up. But I... I definitely do feel like, though, I love that episode so much. Uh, th it's like just prime, like making fun of the Oscars, like the saddest movie, just throwing all these cliches together. Mm hmm. But I feel like at best we can do is just give him a C. Yeah. I feel so bad. It, it is just like all the cliches. It was like a special needs boy in the Holocaust who had a dog <laughs> that he lost. <laughs> no tear trigger. Uh, oh, we'll get there. We'll get there soon. Some Johnny Shutterbug got lucky. Relax, it'll never happen again. I have more pictures of the alien to sell. Obvious parody of it's Peter literally Parker. Just, yeah. I like this character. I like... It is Roger in an outfit, but I think this is one of the better Roger in an outfit characters. This is the one where he is just taking pictures of himself to sell, like, get money from the FBI. He literally is just Peter Parker's, but he's taking advantage yeah. of it. C? C. C. Yeah, I can live with that. Hi, Sarah. Pete Pendleman, concrete man out of Sheboygan. Let's walk and talk. What are you doing? You don't remember this one. Me neither. He is a diabetic. <laughs> That's all I remember. Wait, was he like, like, uh, he went on that get away with Francine when she was trying to like forget her identity and he's a no fun persona yeah, she, she pretends to be Sarah oh yeah yeah he's like a no fun persona and then he has sugar or alcohol or something and he, he thinks he can fly and he falls hard to the concrete oh, oh I like that character I like the meeker ones I like him too I, I like him I'm too I'm feeling C but it, he doesn't do much can't remember him so I, I'm sticking I, I with C A I'm sticking with D <laughs> I think a C is fair. I remember him. I liked it. Down the gauntlet has been laid. Lane? Laid. C! Ooh. Again, this is just Roger in a costume, but I think this is one of Roger's best yeah. Roger in That's a costume. That's the him dicking around. The fucking... The fucking... Electric keyboard? <laughs> oh, that... I fucking love that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, this isn't my pipe organ. What did you expect for $49.95? I can't be menacing with this. And then he just presses the button. It's like, oh, I can work mm -hmm. with this. Yeah, if we were doing like best Roger moments or like just like his episodes, I think this would be up there. But because it is just Roger, we can only like really give him just a C on this one. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Which is sad because I fucking love this episode. It's so good. Uh. Treme, etouffe, beignet, you're gay. Hooray! Again, it's kind of just Roger in a costume. So it was Roger in a costume looking for his lost love for that pasty. And it's a cow. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I know who this one is, but I still feel like just giving him a D. I don't like this guy either, honestly. I don't like the design. 
And this is even the best party character Roger has. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, I'd give him a D. Alright, I can live with a D. Oh no! I'm Professor Guggenheim! Wait, is there another G? Or is it... I'm Professor Baxter. C? C. Does anyone have anything really to say about this guy other than, oh yeah, I remember him. Um, I like the joke where it's revealed that the father, that he killed the father, and they're just shocked looking at him, and then he goes for like a shrimp puff, and then Haley looks at him and is like, Not eating isn't gonna bring him back. <laughs> yep. I can live with this C. Same. Now, before we begin, I just want to set the record straight. I'm no guru. Call me whatever's above that. Um, I like this character. I, I He's like a guru with whose fame has gone to his head. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say like a... I, I wouldn't give him... Because I, I, I feel like it's better than just Roger in a costume. But I like... I like the joke where he becomes enlightened, and they find out enlightenment just sucks. So, I would say B, maybe C. I'm leaning towards a B, because I do like the character, I do love him going absolutely insane. Like, he has all this attention. He's basically Klaus from... Not Klaus. Yeah, Klaus, have you guys seen The Umbrella Academy Season 2? No. I haven't seen The Umbrella Academy Season 1. Same. You guys should definitely check it out. But he's basically like, oh, I got all his followers now. I got, I want this attention. I want these followers. And as soon as he has it, he's like, can you guys just go the fuck away? Like, he is over it. And I feel right. like it's just one of the stronger, like, just Roger playing Roger. So I think feel like it deserves at least a B. I can see that. B it is. I can, I can remember B. Raider Dave! Yep, oh, overcooked it. Boy, you add just one ingredient too many and you end up Raider Dave. Every time. I feel like I should know Raider Dave. I should remember him, but I'm drawing a blank. He's Raider Dave. What about him? That's it. That's the joke. He's Raider Dave. Man, if I can't remember him just from the name, and I'm, I'm, that's all we go off of, I have to give him a D. I can't give him a D. It's Raider Dave. I can give him a, a, a C, but that's lowball in it. Give him the C. 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 Damn. Oh, Disrespect no. my boy Raider Dave. Did someone order a sexy Persian wingman? It's just, it's a stereotypical Persian guy. Mm -hmm. With all the stereotypes. It's not very memorable in my book. Yeah, I say there's a D for this one. At least with the other stereotype characters, I remember them. This one, I'm like, I know the episode, but I don't remember the character. Yeah, I think D for me, too. Same. D. Oh, no. The name's Reaganomics Lamborghini, jacuzzi dealer. Want to smoke cocaine out of my pipe made from a Rubik's Cube? I like the name. Reaganom Reaganomics Lamborghini is a great name, I think. But I can't put him at D because I like the joke, but I can't put him up higher than C. I'm feeling D just because I love the look, but I... I don't think the characters any particular anything really special. It's like one of those things like, oh, I know what he looks looks like, but I don't remember the episode. Yeah. Same. All right, D it is then. Oh no, I'm a renegade, moving from town to town, helping people who can't help themselves. Wow, Kowsko! Ah! His name is Rene Gade, <laughs> and the. They get they cut back to the family who looks at the credit card bill. It's like, hey, so we have a very high um, credit card bill for motorcycles from charged to someone named Renee Gade. <laughs> and then he, the diner scene. I fucking love the diner scene. It's um, he's like, I'm a renegade and I'll protect this town from any bad crooks that come near it. And then these like a bunch of bad guys come in and start beating everyone up, and he's like crouching down. He's like, mm, "These are good fries." Mm. Mm. I like that. I think, I think that enough is at least a C level in my book. Okay, I can see that. C is fine. Will you be paying with untraceable Bitcoin or a big jar of filthy change? Nice, keeping it OG. 
he runs a paranoia podcast. Oh, for conspiracies. I remember this episode. Yeah. I do not remember his role in it, even though I do remember him with this look. I think he was helping Francine awaken the truth. He holds um oh. conspiracy con in his attic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they did sex things. But yeah, I was thinking, I'm kind of leaning towards a D. It's The only reason it's fresh in hmm. my mind is because I literally just saw the episode, but if I didn't, I would not have remembered this character, so... Hmm. Maybe it is a D. I can go with a D, too, personally. Yeah. Oh, no. You are one cold son of a bitch. I'm Ricky Spanish. I mean, do we even need to... Do I even need to introduce this next one? Yes! Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. Dan, please tell me you're going to play the clip of him saying Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. Every time we say Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. I will. That's the, yep, absolutely. Dude, I love Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> They go all out for this character, and he deserves nothing less but the S. Yes. I, I, no argument here. S all the way for Ricky. Yeah, I mean, it's Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. Exactly. It's- that is literally one of the <laughs> definitive characters. A chic lounge environment for young professionals. If they need it so much, how come there's nobody here? I'm gonna eat you one day. Oh, I hate this episode. It was so weird. It's so... It's not a great episode. It's very bad. It's so cruel in such a, like, gross and cruel, but ne- never funny. Mm-hmm. So just on that alone, I feel we just got to walk a shame and throw him in the D category. D. I can live with that. Oh no! Ah damn! You nasty! I think this is a pretty classic look for him. It's a great look. Should we give him a C just because we like it? Yeah. Yeah. Classic Roger. Yeah. Come on, rookie, stay close, but not too close. I swerve a lot because I accidentally bought prescription sunglasses, which I don't need, but I'm too embarrassed to return. Mama, more money. Mama, more speech therapy. <laughs> that was a good one. That's a great line. Uh, I'm feeling either B or C, but again, it's just Roger in a gangster wannabe look at outfit. He's running a paper scam. He's stealing papers to give to other people. I would say a C. Yeah. Mm, yeah. C. I've waited my whole life to do this. The Finger Pyramid of Evil Contemplation. D. He tried really hard. Not great. It's just him dressed up as a car. Yeah, I'd give him a D, too. Aw, fine. D. Oh, no. Sounds pretty badass. Steve, language. Shut the f*** up, Franny. The boy's expressing himself. A cab. <laughs> D. <laughs> a. <laughs> a. <laughs> this is probably... Oh, wow. I'm not discussing this one because it's literally just Roger becomes a cop. Stan says it says best though. He's a crooked cop. He's only been on the force for an hour. <laughs> and literally we just have the scenes where he's like oh using it like he steals mayonnaise. It's just classic pa- I don't- Roger on a power trip and I love it. I can't give him a D, but I don't know. A might be too high. I gotta go with B. Yeah, I can compromise with B. Now I'm sticking with A here. I honestly think that Ro- right. Roger here just has so many great moments in this episode where he does a training montage with Stan where he just gets huge calves. He gets like, I need to avenge I need to become a man. And as soon as he gets to comes a cop, he's like, hey, where's that prisoner? See, I used to be in a weird house. Some even call it roundhouse. Kick it, kicks the guy in the face. And just, like, is beating the shit out of this guy as he, like, calls out punch names. I just absolutely love it. It's great, but I, it's just not the persona. Like, it's great. I love it. But I can't give it any higher than a B, I think. He explodes it's- the guy's head with his elbow. 
That's that amazing. Explodes so it, cool. then goes immediately back and asks, "So he's gonna be okay, right?" <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> that was a great no. last line. There's so many great moments with this character. I don't care if it's just Roger playing a cop. I think you I know, think he deserves. The I think a. chorus convinced me. I think chorus convinced me to give him okay. an A. Yeah, I can see it. I'm a little bit more leaning of A, but this was just a great. Ep- it was just a great episode for Roger altogether. Yeah. She has weird energy, doesn't she? He legit. It's like, oh, I'm gonna clean up my act for revenge. <laughs> it's like he hires a life coach, gets a job as a teller at a bank. He does all these things. It's like, oh, this seems really fun, really cool. It seems. Roger's really turning his life around. And all of a sudden, there's hit squads attacking the house. <laughs> and bullets flying over. He's like, I think they're done. You can get up now. <laughs> like, this is just classic Roger, and I really love him here. This episode's just amazing, too. It's like, guys, the porn channel's accidentally unblocked. Nice. But I think the highlight, the best moment for me is like when they send him to prison. Hype up how hard it is to get out of there. Walk step by step. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Then like all of a sudden it's immediately cuts you like, and we have breaking news. They're like, oh shit. And it's like it says like Roger yeah, broke like- out and escaped on a body of use it. He escaped on a raft made out of the body of his victims, and you just see a picture of him howling away with a man's foot. Oof. I'm either A or B with this character because it's straight Roger. But I don't think his moments are as great as the cop Roger. Mm. So I can give him a B. I can live with a B. He's fine with everyone. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm more citing of a B because it does. It's just ro- again Roger in a wig, but going the, max. The moments petty. are so great. <sighs> I'll do it. Yeah, I remember this one, but I kind of think he's just a D character. There isn't anything really special to this one. He's not great. Yeah. yeah. I'm good with D. Oh, no. Pancakes tomorrow sound good? Whatever, douche. Shut the door. Of course. Sleep tight. Yay! He was such a good... He was so good in this! He killed three teachers. <laughs> to protect Steve! But they were bullying <laughs> Steve! Steve! <laughs> He killed three teachers. Oh, he's killed more for less. With car bombs. I don't know. His actions and behaviors and the motivation behind it gives me a a, a tier. I think he's mainly a B. I'm going to go with Chorus on this. I'll give him a B. He kills because he cares. Actually, I might have to give him an A. I, I gotta go with A, actually, I think. I'm sorry. I just love the idea. I love it when he drives up to stop them from jumping over with the shotgun. It's like, Roger, shoot him! You got a gun pointed at him! It's like, this is what I've been doing to you. I've been pointing this gun at you, but I gotta let you go. I just think that that's a better Lewis episode than it is a Roger episode. So I'm happy with you guys giving him an A. I'm Roger, and I'm famous for saying, Dive on in! Dive on in. Dive on in. Dive on in. <laughs> I feel like this Roger... Uh, uh, it's it's just Roger. Yeah. That's the mm-hmm. thing. I actually really like this episode, that he actually goes from hardcore dive bar enthusiast, like, to owner, to just corporate sellout. So I kind of feel like he's not a C tier, but I definitely feel like he's more of a B. I like I, I can I can agree with B. I would go with B. It let's dive on in on to B. Oh, I on in. So what would you consider to be your long term workout goals? I've literally never thought about that in my entire life. He was persistent as fuck. I have I can to respect, respect it. it. I lo- yeah. Oh, I love the voicemails he kept leaving Steve. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like Steve, come quick! There's a crazy guy shooting up a courthouse. <laughs> I feel B. I gotta give him B, yeah. I give it a B, too. Let's go! This is the most important thing ever! He tried so- He was committed to that bit. That, like, nope, I'm positive. I have to be positive. Even when he got stabbed. What? what Stan stabs like, him with, like, seven knives like, through oh, the hand? like, bitch! Oh, wait, no, that's not who Roland is. He's like, you're doing great, buddy! I don't really remember this one, so uh, I- But I feel like you guys want to give it a C. 
I almost want to give it a B because he was so committed to the bit. I want to give it a B too because of his commitment. I gotta give yes. it a B. Yes. Ah, forget it. I can appreciate the hustle. <laughs> Definitely. Just a C character, though. Yeah, she's not great. I mean, there's more than one way to get uh, a divorce and or your husband's money. But you, she wanted to get the divorce. Ah, well, you could have just killed him, but okay. C. I think. C. Mm -hmm. Right. Roy Rogers McFreely is the name, chairing the Homeowners Association's My Game. I love this fucking S. character, S! S! Oh, it's so good, thank this you. This is a perfect thank Roger. You. Thank you, this Roger. is such a good... Roy Rogers McFreely is such a good... This is like petty Roger, but also just like... I fucking love this Roger so much. And the, I fucking love the costume, too. Oh my god. Perfect Roger. Don't forget the song, oh, though, the of... dance. Oh. El perro, el perro, el perro, el perro corazón. corazón. It's such a funny character where he just, like, basically makes the gardeners his enforcers. And he just takes over the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Lock him out. It's like, you bastards, I'll have you deported. And then he looks behind him and it's like, good news, I've captured the Mexicans. <laughs> Roger is fine. Oh, my God. My name is Ruby Zeldestein. I'm a medium to the other side, and I make a hell of a shoe fly pie. Bruh, I loved her. I love her, too. I love her, too. A poltergasm. I don't know if she's yeah. S tier, but I would say definitely A tier, she no lower. I'm going with a B. B? What was that? I'm going with a B here on her. Damn. Because I love her. I love, the I love the gags. I love, like, see that? That was a copyright symbol. I love, like, the small little voice. But it doesn't hit hard enough for me to justify giving her an A. That's fair. Yeah, I think a B is fair. B? Are we good with B? Mm -hmm. B. I know a lot of you feel the same. Who's jumping out this window with me? It's a good joke. It's a really good joke, it's... but I think this is just a D. Yeah. D. Yeah. D. Oh no. Me? The dog breeder? That's ridiculous, Haley. I'm the dog. What the fuck? Why, why was he a dog? Uh, he was competing with Jeff's dog. They got into dog racing. That's the episode. What the fuck? I know this episode. I don't really care for it, though. I, yeah, it's not great. I don't even great. know this episode. I'm drawing a mad blank. D. E. D. D. Yeah, D. D for dog. There's a new Santa Claus in town, and his name's... Shmanta. Holla at you, boy! Is this Jewish Santa Claus? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember this. You don't remember him making people taking over Hanukkah? Mm, it sounds he had a like... Bunch of, he had... really decides to throw a party in his honor where he has... To celebrate the 12 days that the oil lasted by having a bunch of men wrestle in oil. Oh, you know, that sounds something that is exactly what Roger would do, but I don't remember this episode. <laughs> I think he's this one's worth at least a B. Yeah, I can give it a B. He has magical powers and he, I like I like how he teams up with Snot. I like I like his chemistry All with right, Snot. I'll let you have it this time. My scepter shoots shivers and this end dispenses Luden's cough drops. I'm fighting something. He was a party dude, and I was here for it. I would say at least a B. Yeah. B. I'm feeling optimistic. So Ira and I, this is Ira, we're going to collect some driftwood for a signal fire. Because we're optimistic. Ira and I. I like the disguise, but that's all it is. It's a C. It's not, not even a C, it's a D. Yeah, it's not even a character. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Don't worry about time. Let me worry about time. Shit, shit, damn it. We're so fing late. <laughs> I'm giving C. I feel like that's a, that one's worth at least a B. Because he, like, has Steve on this whole training montage where he's like, You taught me how to fight, didn't you? He's like, No, I had you touch you how to make a margarita and do my laundry. 
You know, I, I, yeah, you convinced me. me. And there's three solid jokes in there that I think can push him up above the C tier trash. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You pansies make me sick! Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Wait for me. He was really dedicated to his craft. Yeah, he was. I'll give him give that. Give him a C for this one. Yeah. I think it's hilarious. Yeah. It's like the porty pot porta potty cleaner. I love how they got Ron Perlman in there for absolutely no reason. <laughs> yeah. The storyline oh, is God. good, but the character is not so much. That credit was generated after your last statement. It'll show up on your next bill. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for choosing AT and T. That was a quick gag, but he was really in character for it. I still say D though. I'll great. Ah. Yeah. Ah. I mean, mm, I don't know. I'll give it a C just for that one joke. Yeah, C. It's definitely better than Mexican. Yeah. Peaches and cream. Why do I always wake up feeling hungover? I don't even touch the devil's nectar. I want Stevie Hoffman! Give him an S! He deserved no more or no less! Give him an S! I, my, I, gotta, I gotta go S. Really, guys? I gotta go S. Yes! Really? Yes! Wait, I wanna hear what Chorus has to say. Because <laughs> he absolutely deserves an S. S. Okay, good. Good. Stevie Hoffman. Yes, he... The workshop of Bible... Works at a Bible printing shop where he removes smut from the Bible. How can you not give that guy an S? He's an S. He's absolutely He's an S. He's a good boy. Oh my god. He is. I love him. He's so literally pure. the most pure character persona of Rogers. So pure that it broke Rogers' mind to play him. Mm hmm. We are an elite, exclusive daycare, but we strive for diversity. This one's dirt poor. It's fun. And not a great persona. No, it's a D. Yeah, I can I live with a D. I liked her, though. She was really committed. To, she was committed to, like, being, I'm going to take care of these kids. I'll raise them as if they were my own. And I think she had some, like, personal stuff going on in her own life. And I'm like, damn, Roger's really committed to this bit. Uh, all right. You convinced me. I can give her a C. Yeah. I like that. She's better than the mm -hmm. other one. You're a South Dakota Slim. Yep, or as my mom calls me, Justin. Who dat? Exactly. <laughs> really? You don't know South Dakota Slim? You don't remember? Oh my I don't god. Remember. <laughs> it's I think two of us don't remember who he is, so I feel like that's more of a D. Yeah, sorry, Dan. That's a D. Damn. Damn, y'all are y'all are crazy. <laughs> Alright, well I can't. I can't argue with that. Oh no. My name is Mr. Deliver. What band was did he say he was in? Was it Janet Jackson? Yes, I and they did so. the whole musical remember. number. That was uh, and they counted the five. Yes. I remember this. Then he sells them to the Chinese army. Yep. Yeah. I think that's worthy of at least a C, maybe a I B. Feel like that's a B. B. All right, B. Sweetheart, I'll have a mango teeny shaken, not stirred. Stirred. Is that how I say it? Stirred. I say we'd be nice and give him a, at least a C for this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's shaken, not stirred. I can't imagine what he used to get that chin right, so I'll give him a C. With your face on my face, I'll be dragging Jenna into the creek behind school and harvesting her organs in no time. So, C? Yeah, I'll say C. C. Sweeps McCullough, talent manager. I used to represent every sitcom neighbor and sidekick in the 80s. Uh, it's just like a standard TV executive who does drugs. Yeah, that's um, about it. I love the joke at the end where it's like, well, you know, sweeps will keep going. Hey, can I borrow your belt for a sec? <laughs> and that chair. Oh, Sweeps is dead. He hung himself. I feel like that joke alone pushes him up to a C. Yeah. Yeah. Sinjin St. John, retired maritime lawyer and avid egg collector. Ooh. It was just Roger having egg This madness. is another one where it's like, yeah, it's just Roger having egg madness. I like how he keeps annoying the guy in charge, so 
I'll give him some points careful, for that. Careful, careful. I know what I'm doing! Keep your eyes on the egg. No, it's a low C. All right. Wait. Yeah, low it C. It was cute bird watching buddy song with him and Steve, though. Actually, that was someone different. Ah, I can never have my moment. Oh, we're wearing the same outfit. Take a good look, sweetie. This is how you wear that. D. Okay, uh. D. Uh, I don't... Yeah, she's not great. I'll give her a D. Oh, no. Burko, best agent in the biz. What you got for me? Runway work? Victoria's Secret? Don't lie to me. Am I the new face of Grape Nuts? I don't remember. <laughs> she was in the beginning, but that yeah, was it. Yeah, I, I don't remember then. She's a Britney Spears parody. Oh. Basically. I don't think she's that particularly memorable. I feel like it's just Roger being sad and pathetic for a little while. Not sure if she's <laughs> D-worthy, but she's at least a C. Roger doesn't need to dress up to be sad and pathetic. <laughs> so then I guess I'm good with the C. Yeah, C. Oh no. Mike, you ended the boat tour in my office? Unacceptable! Get over here and fix it, and don't send your 20-year-old stoner son. Give this man his ass! This is one of Roger's best. Um, absolutely deserves an S. Mm -hmm. Well, a few good parody episodes. Are we all in agreement for oh, S? Yeah. Sush, yeah. I should have seen this coming. Why's that? Because I'm the CEO of Tetra Duel. I remember the lead-up. I don't remember any scenes after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so D. D. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we're getting to the home stretch oh, now. No. Now, we're registered at Crate and Barrel, but if you'd rather make something, that would be a lot more special. This is just a good guy. I honestly. like it. He's like a wholesome guy. He's not Sidney Huffman wholesome, but he's a good guy. And he was just like, I think near the end of the Niagara Falls scenes, he was like, I wasn't doing it to get with your mom. I was doing it for you, champ. It was like, aw, B. I, can, I, I, I think a B is a good one for him. Also moments, I feel like B's fitting for him. Mm-hmm. That's sweet of you to say, Scotty. Scotty? Ah, that's my nickname for you. I chose it because Scotty is your favorite Star Trek character. It's just Roger in disguise. It's we not We didn't great. even get no. to learn much about this character. Just a D. Yeah, D. I mean... Mm -hmm. D? Oh, no. Fisher Automotive, Trish speaking. Hey, Roger. So I think I may be moving on to step two. Please hold for Arbuckle. I don't even remember who the, she's the operator. For. I think she's just a general phone operator connecting calls. I gotta, I like the commitment to it. And even though it's a quick bit, I'm leaning towards either B or C. I don't know if I can give it higher than a C. Let's go with C. I kind of think she's really a All D, right. but I feel like that'll average out well. Go away, we're closed. I'm sorry, I just need- Didn't you hear me? Oh, hey, Steve. You don't remember the Witches of Langley I episode? I do not. The one where they become- Where Steve, Toshi, oh, Barry, and Scott become okay, witches. Oh, okay, yeah. I just don't remember the character or the role- Whatever role Roger played. That was- He was the owner of the curiosity shop. Mm. I'm in the same boat as Artis, so... Give this guy a D. <laughs> D. All right, D. I was gonna give him a C, but damn, y'all are y'all scathing. Oh no! Well, hell, Francine. I'm an archaeologist. Why do you keep leaning in when I say stuff? I think he deserves a uh, B just because of that musical number. I like the musical number too. I'll be real. I don't remember this character. I I, I trust you guys' judgment with a B. I just don't remember. Uh, I think B is a good spot for him. So I think yeah, B. Yeah, that's fair. Roger's coming as my Uncle Cosworth. Land the home, matey. No, Roger. Yeah, I'm... I'm jazzed on this one. You didn't leave that much of an impression on me. D? D. 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 All right. Oh, no. Barry? Toshi? You know my Uncle Roger? Uh, yeah, on my mom's side. This is like the default persona, and it's iconic. But doesn't really do much. It's I can't give it any lower than a B though. Ah, B's fair. An A or a B. 
A or B. I was B. almost on the fence of like, oh, let's give him an S because this is like our staple Roger character. But it's like, but it's just yeah, Roger. it's just Roger. <laughs> the- but it is also like, if he's not wearing nothing, he's wearing this. Touche, it's his default outfit. So I feel like we should just all compromise I kinda and put give him right him in the middle. A. I kind of want to give him an A, but I'm teetering A and I feel like e. B, because I don't... Because, like, he... Uncle Roger has his own... Gets his own story plots, too, but it's still just Roger. Yeah, that's fair. So, B is fine with me, then. Same. You have to run for mayor. Look at this new sign. Oops, old sign. But timeless message. I think I know the episode, but again, I don't remember the character, so D. D? Oh, yeah. D, alright. Uh, I would say C for me. I don't remember the- What do you say? I don't remember the character or the episode. D. So yeah. D? Alright, fair enough. Oh no. My name, and I hope it's trending right now, is Jaeger Chillax. It is not trending. I don't think this one's particularly memorable to me. I do like the hat, but I gotta give this one a D. It's a bandana. It's a bandana. Exactly. <laughs> I can't even tell yeah. the difference. <laughs> yeah. All right, D for you two. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dan. I I've just drawn all sorts of blanks. D for me. Oh no. So in the end, this is our final list. Good list. Honestly, even the D stuff isn't bad. It's just like it's just our memories doesn't come bad. To the best that Roger has to have. Yeah, mm. this took a while, and I really do want to thank you both for coming on to help um, to talk about this. I had a lot of fun. I had a really a lot of fun, and I'm glad that I was able to talk American Dad with you all. It was a blast. Thanks for having us on the channel. Thank you, Dan. You're very welcome.